How are we all doing today? Yeah, we're 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 back, <laughs> and uh, I'm a little a little more recharged today. Uh, I wanted to make it through all of the live stream yesterday, but the uh, the week had me feeling a little exhausted. I'm doing pretty good, Dragon. I was, I was glad to see everyone liked the uh, the newest video. We'll be picking up right at the start of round four. Uh, for those who weren't here yesterday or, or want a brief recap of the score. Or you already live? Yeah, I'm already live. Oh, geez. Yeah, I'm, I'm catching everyone up. Let me, uh, 
I missed I missed the end of the tournament because I ended up falling asleep. I think. Oh, you didn't miss shit. Uh, I I couldn't. I I actually needed to like sleep. Mm. I was I was just I was just too out of it in the stream, and <laughs> and I was just like I really wanted to get through the whole thing, but I was just like, ah, oh, there's no way. There's no way I'm doing this at a at a good level. So oh, did you? You uploaded today, and I, I missed. Did. I did. I, I, I'll have to watch it later. I'm behind. <laughs> Damn. Yep, we we had uh, part four, uh, but I am finishing the tournament today, so it's the same structure decks. It's just uh, we're picking up at the start of round four. Okay. And they're all decks you know, because they were yeah around when we were we were active. Right. I do have food on the way, so I will have to AFK when it arrives. That's fine. Uh, when masked heroes are raided on the structure decks, will Jaden join to give his judgment? Maybe. We've, we've seen I'm no, uh, I don't shy away from using Jaden, so. He's such a fun character, too. He is. Cause like, especially, especially the way that you write him, where, like, what, what I what I really like about it is is Yugi, like, warms up to him over time. <laughs> Cause at first he's like this fucking guy. That's kind. That was kind of my experience with Jaden. Was just like at first I was like, bleh. He is kind of like an excitable puppy dog, which sounds more endearing than it is. Um, but also still endearing. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense, but... It does, yeah. Puppy, puppy traits are, like, instantly endearing in dogs, but in humans, they, they, they take a little bit to warm up, I feel. Yeah, yeah, and puppy traits in puppies are instantly endearing, and then <laughs> that, uh... Appreciation deteriorates in my experience. So uh, we have three rounds down. There's going to be six rounds to go because when there's ten structure decks, you have nine rounds, so they all face each other once. Uh, the score, as of right now, Dark Emperor is undefeated, and Dragoon of the Legion is also undefeated. In uh, third and fourth, we have Spellcaster's Command and the Merrick structure deck. Uh, and then every other structure deck has one win and two losses, except Curse of Darkness, which is zero and three. This is kind of what I predicted. Uh, it's it's one of the few decks that I think everyone that I wrote for unanimously agreed was awful, and so far it's uh, living up to it. It is. The Curse of Darkness is just such a weird burn deck. But anyway, uh, before I get too excited and start playing the game without switching over to the right screen, I'm going to do that right now. Again? Alright, we're starting off uh, round four with Zombie World versus Surge of Radiance. Uh, Aster, our, our boy Aster is going to play Zombie World this time. Or Zombie World. The, the one field spell thing is so atrocious. It, it lives and dies off of that field spell. Not entirely, because there's a lot of things it can do without it, but it can do a whole lot more with it. Yeah. It, like... Yeah, so much more gets turned on when Zombie World's on the field. Like, red Eye Zombie Dragon yeah. constantly serves up, like, extra monsters for you to use. Right. And without and, the field um, spell, he's not doing that. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's lucky. But if it gets blown up, I mean, you're done. You can't get it back. They, they might have one card to bring it back. I don't remember. Because I, I, I immediately bought more than one copy of the deck. Yeah. Like, you kind of have to. Oh. oh no! The bricks are very strong. 
There are heroes on both sides. Apparently it was my destiny to brick. Don't worry, I'll turn it around. Plague Wolf with the with the rebirth. Uh I did see the new ban list, but I, I am not like completely meta relevant yet in terms of like how much I can how much I can really say how much it impacts the game. Like I know Arise Heart is a big deal. And like I know he got limited. But, you know. I, I haven't personally played against Cash Tira yet, or or watched a whole lot of Master Duel duels with Cash Tira. I just hear everything about how Cash Tira is really frustrating. They can lock down nine of your zones and they banish things face down so you just can't get them back and how everyone Dude. hates cash, yeah. Yikes. Yikes what? Cash? No. This duel. Yeah, uh... Aster, Aster seems to have turned it around. Right, but they've both been sitting with nothing for <laughs> so long. <laughs> yep. Widespread Ruin's gonna come in and punch. Soul Taker is going to remove Radiant Gerald, which is just going to be 2,000 extra life points. The Ryukoki like is coming back with Book of Life. Both of them have this like need for the field spell, and the updated rule set where both people can have field spells benefits them both in a mutually assured destruction kind of way. <laughs> Uh, right now, uh, it appears Zombie World has the edge. Can Surge of Radiance turn it around with their seven card hand? Let's find out. It actually surprises me for how long uh, both of them bricked. Yeah. Neo Parshath mm. is going to hit the field. Patrician is going to redirect the attack into Ryukoki. <laughs> That's smart. He's he's more valuable in case like Spirit Reaper shows up. Card of safe return is played. Patrician is likely going to be biting it. Depends. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be hard to come back from. Not impossible, but... He's locked his field. He can't He can't play any new magic or traps yeah. unless something down there is relevant right now. And, uh... Right now, Surge of Radiance is just really throwing that hand advantage up there. Oh, yeah, no, we had a, we had a friend who ran a Cyber Dragon deck, Dragon. Um... And he he was he was so mad when that ban list came out and like I think Cyber Dragon either got semi limited or all the way to limited and he limited was, probably he was so upset I know it went through at least semi and even semi he didn't like no but I mean like any deck where you have an ace and you can only have one or two of those even if it's just two it's it's. It's a huge downgrade. Yeah. It's not like Proto Cyber Dragon is gonna pull its weight. Yeah, no. There's so many better options for that now. Surge of Radiance takes round one. I used both of these decks, and both of them required that you buy multiple sets. <laughs> Uh, you had the, um, you had the agent uh, agents. One. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a different one, but it's, it's yeah. both of them do require Sanctuary in the Surge sky. of Radiance was Japan only, and so was Curse Oh, of yeah, so I, yeah, I, I played cards from both of those. Yes, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, got rid of the bottomless. That's, uh, kind of huge, actually. Cyber Dragon, it was 
God, when it was it was somewhere around the synchro era. Mm hmm The like somewhere around the synchro era, era is when Cyber Dragon got limited or semi limited. But it, yeah, no, it was it was awful. Which you would have thought that it would have got limited during didn't it get limited during Monarch's era or no? I don't think so. I think it was. I think it was after Synchros came out was when yeah, Cyber no, Dragon got right. hit. But like, Cyber Dragon was a part of what made Monarchs. Yeah, yeah, like, it was ridiculous. Yeah, and Treeborn Frog and Cyber Dragon. Uh, it's not looking too hot for Zombie World. That was uh, they, what we they, call suboptimal play. It was semi to monarchs. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. Dragon Master played it, so I, I'll I'll trust his judgment on when that struck because it didn't personally I, affect us, but it affected it affected our friends. Yeah. Yep. And Surge of Radiance is gonna take that with a very convincing two zero. Uh huh. Next is yeah, gonna be Spellcaster's Command versus Dark Emperor. It's interesting that they had like an agents in that they had agents in that deck and then they made another yeah whole structure deck around agents I won't be surprised if Dark Emperor just walks through this whole tournament. Like, it's... <laughs> uh, it's... I don't know if it's quite as, like, big a gap as, like, Zombie Madness was. Zombie Madness was insane. Zombie Madness, though, just absolutely thrashed the structure deck, the first 10. Yeah. Wow, is that an early Brick Swords? Yep, that's an early Brick Swords for Spellcaster's Command. Is, is Dark Emperor Caius, or is it...? Yeah, it's Caius. Oh my god. One of my favorite decks that they released. It's... Ooh. Oh, here's Different Dimension Master. Let's see if that manages to do anything. A pitch black power stone. Nice. Very nice. Got a reinforcement um, of the army for exiled force. I mean, okay, but... Okay, so they were semi... When, when monarchs were a thing, and then limited yeah. when synchro came out. I mean, it makes sense for synchro because that made a lot of things easy. Yep. As I later exploited <laughs> with my assault dragon. Yep. Like Stardust Assault, and that became meta. Shortly after, and Ooh, not, like, by order of the is. emperor, negating the apprentice magician, exiled force is going to hit the field. Probably going to be used to out. <laughs> Never, mind. Never mind. Okay, I'll the magical right dimension. <laughs> magical dimension for Crystal Seer. <laughs> Mako is back and is going to destroy by order of the Emperor, just cuz, I guess. And Spellcaster's Command is going to take round one from Dark Emperor. 
Right after I just finished talking up how Dark Emperor probably wasn't gonna lose. Commentator's curse at its finest, folks. Spellcaster's command starting off with an apprentice magician, but it's going to immediately get countered by the dimensional fissure. But did we already get it? Yep. <laughs> On dungeon dice gameplay. Magic Cylinder is going to hit the DD Survivor. Giant Trunade is going to be used. Um, hmm. Banisher of Radiance now in play. Oh, right. Apprentice Magician doesn't even need to hit the graveyard for its effects to go off. I always forget about that. Karma Cut being used against Mythical Beast Cerberus. Scout Plane returns. So does DD Survivor. Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer is here, but there's like no ghosts to destroy because... <laughs> Because Dimensional Fissure is out. Old Vindictive Magician is gonna go destroy Kaiku. Which is a good call. I don't know how Spellcaster Command comes back from this. I think they are done. I'm back. They won't be dead this turn. Spellcaster uh, Command won uh, the last game. Okay. After we had just finished talking about how Dark Emperor would probably not lose. Uh, but right now it looks like it's going to go to round three because Spellcaster's Command is hard bricked. How bad were they for that? Because I really don't remember the deck list off the top of my head. How bad was Spellcaster's Command? or For, for bricking not, potential. They didn't brick too often. They had like three tribute monsters and Endymion could special summon himself. So like... Right. Now, granted, yeah, like, that, that, that was that was a set of spellcasters you played a lot, right? Yeah, I, I did. Yeah. I did run in Demion in my spellcasters. Uh, I ran like I took out like the other tribute monsters and put in dark magicians, so the skilled dark magicians could actually do something. Because that was the weirdest thing about spellcasters command was they still have, like skilled dark magician, but like no no dark magician so like it all skilled dark magician did in the deck out of the box was just hold spell counters which like wasn't completely worthless or anything by any stretch but it was just weird all right round three hype can Spellcaster's Command knock Dark Emperor off its undefeated streak? Let's find out. It's 
Sakuretsu armor going to be used against Mako. Magical Dimension is going to be chained for Magical Marionette. And that'll outright destroy Banisher of Radiance, which is a really good hit. They'll have to watch out about how many spell cards they decide to play, because Magical Marionette will get stronger with each spell card. Well, I should say each spell counter, which, uh, they're gonna start putting some fuel into Magical Marionette. DD Survivor is going to be sent to the grave. Apprentice Magician is gonna get played in attack mode to feed another spell counter into Magical Marionette. Another DD Survivor is gonna hit the field and it's gonna go punch the Apprentice Magician. Apprentice Magician will go get an old Vindictive. Congratulations, you played yourself. Big Bang Shot will be played on DD Survivor to make a 2200, but... That's just going to make the Marionette stronger. Marionette uh, is now at 2800. Breaker is here. Marionette is going to punch over Breaker. Surprised they didn't flip Old Vindictive to get rid of Breaker, but it wouldn't have been lethal anyway, so... Oh, there's Lightning Vortex. Turns out this was the smarter play. Because Old Vindictive gets to stick around. And now here comes the old vindictive punch. Spellcaster's command might actually feed Dark Emperor a loss, but they'll have to top deck something real good. Book of Moon is gonna flip old vindictive back down. Old vindictive is gonna flip right back up. And there goes Samsara Kaiser. <laughs> Uh, and this time, they top deck a good one. Here comes Bazoo, punching in for 2,050. Swords of Revealing Light couldn't have come at a better time. Spellcaster's still on the defensive. DDR is going to be used to bring back DD Survivor. Magical Plant Mandragora going to flip face up, get tributed for Dark Red Enchanter. And Pitch Black Power Stone is going to further boost Dark Red Enchanter up to 2600. DD Survivor is punched out. If they draw Caius here, they could have won. Instead, they draw Chaos Rider Gustav. Dark Red Enchanter is now. 3,200. Oh, there's Tower of Babel. What does that do again? So, uh, whenever a spell card is played, a spell counter gets put on Tower of Babel, and the fourth spell counter that goes on that deals 3,000 damage to the person that set it off. Oh, jeez. So, uh, you know, they'll, they'll have to be careful. Uh, Karma Cut comes at a really good time, saving Dark Emperor. They are still in this. Dimensional Fissure now on the field. That's gonna put one counter on, on Tower of Babel. Mystical Space Typhoon is gonna go target Twister is now also going to fire off. I think this is going to put it at... It's now at three. Whoever plays the next spell card is going to take... 
<laughs> oh, okay. Giant True Nade return. What was the point of that? To reset it, I guess. Dimensional Alchemist will hit the field. Helios is here at 800. Uh, attack mode! Attack mode Royal Magical Library, really, huh? I mean... What, what was the master plan here, AI? We were expecting it to live through all that somehow. You see... Um... I don't know how much of the chat watched Naruto. But, uh... Much like Shikamaru in the Chunin exams. He had a perfect plan to draw all of the cards in his deck, but he ran out of draws. <laughs> hey Chris, glad you've been enjoying the videos. Uh, this is a tournament of structure decks, 11 through 20. You played yourself, Spellcaster's Command. I, I don't know that you, you had to set put your... Royal Magical Library in attack mode without the ability to draw the extra card. Alright, so... This is the type of deck that Kaiba would be like, yeah, peasants won't know how to play these. Too much thought that goes into this. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. Three IQ play. All right, well, next up, we have Rise of the Dragon Lords versus Warriors Strike. This person's deck is called Out of the Question. Love it. You know, Dragon Lords has been doing better than I expected it would. The mausoleum really helps it run, but yeah. Trade in is going to be used. Guilford the Lightning thrown to the grave. Foolish Burial is going to be used to throw Majestic Mech uh, Goryu, I believe it was. Marauding Captain will hit the field. Along with DD Warrior. Divine Sword Phoenix Blade going on Marauding Captain, making him a very meaty 1500. DD Warrior being used to remove from play the creator incarnate. Or as some, someone at our tournaments, our local tournament said, the creator incarte. And it didn't matter how many times we corrected him. No, it did. It, it, it was. It was. It was always the creator and Carte. Tyrant Dragon's gonna hit the field. A big bang shot Tyrant Dragon at that. Uh, that's gonna be very difficult to deal with. But if uh, if Warrior Strike can get rid of this, oh goodbye. Ah, big bang shot. The piercing was so good, but the fact that your monster got annihilated the moment it got annihilated was also pretty silly. Kunai with chain. Going to be used to throw that, that Kaiser Seahorse into the grave. Dragon Lords could be out. And that's going to be one for Warrior Strike on turn eight. Which Yu-Gi-Oh game was it? Like, video game. Where they had, uh, like, the ace of, uh, ace of the deck behind the character. It was, uh... <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. 
This, this might Wait. actually cast some light for people on, on a little detail on the video today. <laughs> okay. So, um... Mystical Space Typhoon, and I'm saying this really in response to what Unfair Agenda said of MST being the best card. Mystical Space Typhoon was listed as Merrick's ace. Yeah, uh, normal Merrick. Uh, yeah. Evil, evil yeah. Merrick had had a different card, but normal yeah. Merrick had Mystical Space Typhoon as his ace card. You know, I've been trying this new playlist. I think it's just it's just a little too tame for me. Gonna 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 switch back to switch back to this one. The music is like the one thing I can't hear. Yes, yeah, because I'm so. Yep. I mean. I can either hear it on a super delay or not at a, all. A Dark Blaze Dragon revived immediately at 2400. Ah, uh, QBO Jackmord being put into play. Evocator Chevalier will get revived and then die immediately. Really putting that swing of memories to good use. There goes Mystical Space Typhoon. It's gonna hit Dust Tornado. Doesn't use Dust Tornado to take out a Kibio Drachmord. That's uh, it's gonna be quite a misplay there from Dragon Lords because they could have saved for their dragon. Evocator Chevalier is back and is going to send. Oh, okay, never mind. Or I mean, well, it was still a misplay on Dragon Lord's part, but because he wouldn't have been able to do that, Decoy Dragon is going to be put up for a stall. Burden of the Mighty is going to be played. That's going to really hurt Dragon Lords, considering how many of their monsters are high level. Field Commander Roz will put DD Warrior Lady on the top of the deck. Morphing Jar is going to get flipped up. We got a fresh new hand for both duelists. Terraforming is going to be used. Dark Bribe is going to be chained. Soul Exchange is going to be used now on Evocator Chevalier. Giant Trunade is going to be chained. And Guilford the Lightning is going to hit the field. Hidden Armory is going to be used. This will give up the normal summon for the turn. But not the special summon. Spell Striker hits the field. It's going to go for some direct damage. Field Commander Ra is going to get Big Bang Shot. Malevolent Catastrophe is going to trigger. There goes Field Commander Raz. Herald of Creation hits the field. Dark Blaze Dragon is going to get returned to the hand. Not really where you want Dark Blaze Dragon to be, but... Guilford the Lightning hits for 28. Warrior's Strike is on the back foot, but not out of this yet. Birthright is going to bring back Evocator Chevalier for like the third time in this duel. 
DD Warrior Lady is gonna go take out Guilford the Lightning. The Shallow Grave is going to be used on Morphing Jar. Horus the Black Frame. The Black Frame. The Black Flame. Just a Break is going to be used. Which is going to kill. One of his monsters. Symbol of Duty is going to be used to get Horus. Like, like the 2000 IQ play. Warriors may have bought themselves a victory here. They may have turned it around. What do we got? Dark Valkyria is Gemini summoned. Its attack will go up by 300. Kaiser Seahorse, not enough! And Warrior Strike wins by using Dragon Lord's own Black Flame Horus against them. Yugi would be so proud. Yugi would be proud. Warrior Strike or wins. Or a 10, depending on. Yes. Yeah. Horus, the Who dark Horus, the dark flame, dark dragon of darkness within darkness. Do you, do you think both of them are into stealing monsters? Do you think he, Atem rubbed off on Yugi? Oh, most certainly. Like, they, they both agreed that their deck is good. And they're like, Atem had to have been like at some point, Yugi. I think brain control is the shit. And he was like, yeah, you're right. Alright, Curse of Darkness is going to go up against Machina Mayhem now. I can't wait till I eventually do the giant tournament where I have like all the structure decks in a round robin. It's gonna take forever to get through that, but I'm really curious to see like how they all compare at every every given point. Please tell me that you plan to name that stream of the biggest fight. Oh, I could do that. My original <laughs> idea would have been like the structure deck tournament of power, but uh, no, that that that's not. That'll bad be in either. fantasies. Oh. <laughs> This is the longest title ever. Axe Dragonoot is going to be played first. There's Solidarity and Cyber Valley, which is not going to kick off Solidarity after its effect fires off. No. Here's Stealth Bird. It's going to go in to trigger Cyber Valley and then flip face down. You know, unfair agenda. I have a, uh, I have totally thought of doing some Dragon Ball AI voice content. Stealth Bird selected for Prohibition. Damn, that's like one of the few things that like Curse of Darkness has a second copy of too. Rare Metal Morph is going to be used on Machina Sniper. Axe Dragonoot goes to the grave. Ooh, Machina Fortress is here. Dimension Wall oh. is going to be used to reflect the damage, but not stop the destruction of Goblin Zombie. Well, they're gonna get Spirit Reaper, which they're gonna, like, really need. Fonda Fontaine really has to get her game on. Giant True Nate is going to be used. That's, um... Oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, hmm. That's... really not... not how you win. Nope. 
Anyway, Goodbye. now Solidarity is in effect, and yeah, I don't know why you went through the trouble of getting Spirit Reaper if you were just gonna do a Mega Morph Wolf. Yeah. Alright, well, Curse of Darkness uh, lives up to its lulzy reputation and takes <laughs> the fattest of L's. Someone wasn't paying attention, Dragon Master. I'm not sure who it was. Probably the guy who saw a zero attack come in and decided to activate Magic Cylinder on it. I don't know. People are weird. It's important to note, was this in person or was this like an online game version of Yu-Gi-Oh? The amount of misplays that happen on simulators is so huge. That, that's that's why it's an important question. Yeah. Because if someone did it in person, they, they really made that decision <laughs> with, with all of the information laid out in front of them. Whereas someone who activates a trap in a, in a simulator Then you don't know if it's. Glad you liked the new video, and yeah, Kaiba and Joey do have the, their overlaps, where they agree from time to time. Uh, there's giant orc gonna go punch out the Machina gear frame, but Machina Fortress is already on the field. Luckily, they have a nightmare steel cage, so you know. Card trader is going to be used. Yeah, my, my structure deck video was my longest structure deck video today. But that's like because I had a fourth character in it, so. And that's part of why uh, these videos take so long, is you just get more and more ambitious. Well, like, Merrick's structure deck was in that video, and I was like. This is the perfect time to try, like, bringing Merrick in. Who is the worst villain. And I don't mean that as, like, he wasn't effective. I just mean he was incompetent as a duelist. Oh, why are you acting ectoplasma, you fool? Why would you do that? Your Spirit Reaper could stall! Curse of Darkness again throwing! So I, I have a follow up question, yeah. Dragon Master. Um, an afternoon of laughs, as in they were just messing with you, or everyone was laughing at them? Because. That changes how I feel about this story. Uh, heavy Storm going to be used to, to blast away things, but the damage is already done. Oh good, Mask of Darkness, gotta get that trap card back. Yeah, that'll see play. Nice Eradicator Epidemic. Uh, Curse of Darkness loses, to no one's surprise, to Machina Mayhem. <laughs> and now we have Merrick versus Dragoonity Legion. I remember initially being kind of disappointed with Dragoonities because I thought they were, like, just looking at the box, I thought they were, like, purely dragons. And then Winged Beasts were such a big deal in the deck, and I was like, oh, man. 
Okay, so he did it to, like, make you laugh explicitly. I know this is, like, on a huge delay, but, you know, I'm trying to make it work. Um... Thoughts on AI Pegasus is reviewing and ranking TCD exclusive archetypes for the channel. Uh, I don't know. I actually haven't experimented with an AI Pegasus yet, so it, it depends on how he sounds. The accent's going to be tough. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious how it goes. I actually have an idea for Pegasus in, a, in an upcoming video, and that's, that's probably going to determine how long I use him for. Or, like, how often I use him. Right, if it seems to be working. I thought I'd actually get more flack for how Merrick sounded in the video today, but it seemed like everyone, for the most part, was pretty pleased with him, so... Interesting. Okay. I uh, granted, I, I, lamp, I lampshaded that he sounded a little off, so maybe that helped, but like... <laughs> Probably a little bit. <laughs> Nightmare Wheel is going to be used on Dragoonity Militum. Spiritual Wind Art is going to be used... <laughs> To throw Metal Reflex Line back to the top of the deck, Temple of the Kings is going to be played. Is there anything Merrick can truly do about this? <laughs> Answer, probably not. Well, he does have this Metal Reflex Line that's, that's about to come back into play. Or wait, was it top or... Oh no, it was bottom of the deck, not top of the deck. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be... That, that is gonna be awkward for Merrick. I don't think there's anything he can do. Anyway, here's Leviton. <laughs> and his, Leviton's gonna grab Brandistock. That's gonna be a, uh, a 2600 monster that can double attack. And Merrick's response is <laughs> Dark Room of Nightmare. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Oof. Just like the show. Alright, that's gonna be one for Dragoonity Legion. Can Merrick bring it back? Merrick's deck does have good cards in it, but it is not a good deck. Like, I haven't. I, I don't know what the general consensus was uh, on the video. But. Yeah, the, the characters. Uh, yeah, actually, just in case, like, people, some people in the chat haven't watched it today, I won't, I won't spoil okay, it. Okay, we won't spoil it. I will, I will be on. I, I think most everyone that's this here, though, probably has, but just in case someone hasn't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on. Yeah. That. Okay. Uh, do we have any fun moments when playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, the answer is yes, but I'm not going to be able to recall them on the spot. I mean, I could probably recall a few. Like a lot of our, a lot of our, the like the games we played at the shop we did were, were fun. Yeah, stuff like playing Magical Cylinder against a zero attack attack is stuff we would do to each other. Yep. Um, but. I, I can't recall specific. I, I remember you monologuing for people running about killed us. <laughs> that that was that was probably one of my one of one of the moments that I remember very fondly. It was like we were we were playing um it was like we, we did what? We pulled like we, we each we got a certain amount packs. of we each got a certain amount of booster packs and we constructed a deck out of them and like 
we were blind on what these cards were, and you, you we dropped, all ended up with the you, same cards. You dropped this like thirty second monologue of like how everyone shits their pants when this card is summoned to the field, and you were just like, and then I play people running about, and like Ray and I died. <laughs> Because I, I remember very, like, I don't remember what my speech was. The monologue doesn't matter. I probably couldn't even recreate it. Like, it, if you know what the joke is, it's not funny anymore. But, like, um, but, yeah, I remember pulling from the, the packs and I saw people running about and I'm like, I have to play this like it's my ace. <laughs> like, when I build my deck, this is going in it. I don't care how useless it is. Yeah. And, yeah. I was very excited about making a monologue about people running about. Gravekeeper's Spy <laughs> summoned in attack mode for some reason. Creature swap. <laughs> Alright. You could have been safe if you just set the guard to defense mode. <laughs> but I think Merrick's gonna take this round. Um. Well, what was it? It was it was that 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 group of cards. It was people running about United Resistance and. It was the um, Huge Revolution deck. Oppressed or, people. Yeah, yeah. Oppressed people was or the just, third. Yep. Yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah. All you needed all three of those to use Huge Revolution, which was really obnoxious, actually. Yeah, if you could get it off. Yeah, and there it was possible to build decks that would summon all three of them really fast. So. Alright, round three hype. You know, I actually really like Chris Elder's idea of a, of a mine, <laughs> of, of Mokuba and his Minecraft, or, or just Mokuba and his YouTube career doing a you laugh, you lose challenge. But like, you, you have like, you have life points instead, and once you laugh X amount of times, you're defeated. I might, I might do that video. That, that, that sounds like really fun. Like as its own video, or just referencing as, in the as its own video. I might, I might do that as its own video. <clears throat> It'll end up in the background of another video just to save time, though, because <laughs> it's a fun callback, and you don't have to like record a new thing. All right, Akiza is going to be playing Dracunity Legion. Necro Valley getting pulled out real early. Yeah, if Merrick's deck had focused on Gravekeepers, it would be so much better. But just like the fact we that we can't do that. It, the fact that it's just split. Yeah. You know, I think if I if I did a laugh lose challenge, it might just be like looking at Yu-Gi-Oh meme compilations. Would that be, like, user-submitted content? You know? That... That's not a bad idea. Yeah, I'll just- I'll just- terrible. I'll just make a call. I'll just make a call for, like, Hey, submit- submit these memes here, please. Yeah. You just have to not submit them on the Discord, cause, like... Everyone sees them on the Discord. Uh, it looks like Dragoonity's bricked into the next century, built their own brick city over the rotation. True. No! You fool! Don't play that! That's just another card! Akiza! Akiza, if that card blows up, you're dead! You mad girl! Oh. Wait. Merrick, what are you doing? 
Oh, never mind. He's a genius. He's a genius. He's, he's a genius. Merrick, def Merrick takes Dragoonity Legion off the undefeated section. Alright, so that's the end of round four. And uh, no deck is undefeated anymore. Good. As it should be. Instead, now we have a four way tie for first between Spellcaster's Command, Dark Emperor, Merrick, and Dragoonity Legion. Merrick is capable of winning. Is he good at it? I mean, look at his win loss record in the actual show, and you'll see. <laughs> And we're not counting the times that he won, uh, out of a technicality or something. Alright. Here we go. The start of round five, which is going to be Surge of Radiance versus Spellcaster's Command. Merrick's that guy who figured out one strategy that seemed like an exploit and never bothered to learn anything else. Merrick is legitimately one of the worst duelists in the entire show. Like, I will die on that hill. Apparently in the manga, according to according to someone in the chat earlier, uh, Merrick only actually got into the Battle City Finals because he had Odeon win him all the, all the locator cards. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. He's just not very bright when it comes to the game. Odeon's clearly better than him <laughs> at the game. Yeah. Merrick's just a big fucking goober, but with, like, magical mind control powers at his disposal. Literally, mind control is the reason he wins, <laughs> like... I just love that, like, normal Merrick goes, like, like, shares a headspace with, with Bakora and is like, Don't worry, man, I know the deck, and I can teach you how to defeat it! <laughs> you need me. <laughs> he just... No, I I'm, I don't. I truly don't need you. Just, You're an idiot. He's just so unhelpful during the duel too. <laughs> like I hadn't rewatched it in a while, <laughs> and I remember the abridged series version of it just being like me. And honestly, that might as well be what he's saying. <laughs> Like, it's so accurate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Shining Angel gonna pull out the Liberator. Uh, so far, Spellcaster's Command has quite the lead over here. Dunami is the Dark Witch hitting the field. Uh, Defender is going to spend a point to keep Apprentice Magician around for some reason. Sure. Disenchanter hits the field. You know, you could have Disenchanter just actually, like, swap the equips for free here. Yeah. This deck, uh, by the way, can do an infinite swords if you have something that can... Oh no. It, like, if, if they drew Swords of Revealing Light while Skill Dark Magician is on the field, they can indefinitely play Swords of Revealing Light uh, until Swords of Revealing Light is hit with some kind of destruction effect. Oh no. Yeah. The Disenchanter with the right cards on the field is actually fairly annoying. <laughs> um. Okay. Crystal Seer right. flip face up for 
field barrier? Yeah, I... Questioning that. Shame. You don't have to discard a card for the sword loop. It is just a spell counter from anywhere on the field. The when, when, you, used. when you watch Battle City Finals, like, not week to week, but back to back, like, in a marathon, it becomes very clear, like, that Merrick has no memory at all, <laughs> because... He himself is just saying to himself over and over again, Those fools don't know that I am Merrick. <laughs> just over and over again. As if he's... Oh, the disenchanter BM. He's pulled the greatest trick of all. <laughs> like... I, it's, it's so funny to me. Every time he says... Some variation of those fools don't know that I'm Merrick. Like, you could make that a drinking game, and you will get smashed off of that rule alone. <laughs> Spellcaster's command takes round one. It, it is indeed, like... You, you won't stand a ghost of a chance in that, like, few sets of episodes uh, in, in Duel's Kingdom. Both, both Ghost Kaiba and Bones. You don't stand a ghost of a chance in a duel against me. You don't stand a ghost of a chance against Kaiba because this time he is a ghost! I think he says that twice. Yeah, you never stand a ghost of a chance if you're up against the, uh, the guy who's supposed to win. Yeah, it, it's... <laughs> It's very confusing. Like honestly, that that's one time where four kids uh, made more sense than the original. Uh, because him being sent to the Shadow Realm sounds a lot less permanent than dying. <laughs> it's not him. Gate attack, putting a stop to uh, to Cerberus there. The counter trap card is going to cause another draw. Oh, and yeah, the Shadow Realm is absolutely scarier than dying because supposedly you're, you know, it's like eternal damnation. Yeah, it's it's hell. It's biblical hell versus death. Ooh, seven tools of the bandit and another negate attack. Depends on your beliefs on death, but eh, who knows. That's two cards drawn for those two counter traps. Surge of Radiance is firing on all cylinders right now. But we're not replacing our whole hand. Something in there was really important. It's not him. <laughs> Not him! Mystical Space Typhoon is going to target the mage power, probably for the better. 
We're finally gonna get rid of Bountiful Artemis. <laughs> Ooh, Divine Wrath is gonna smite and Demion. And that, I think, was his first appearance in the tournament, too. Oh, and we're, we're actually using the optimal attack to make Mars stronger this time. We weren't good at that last time. Ooh, Mars, Mars is getting Mars pretty is strong. Buff. Mars is getting yeah. pretty buff. He ate his Wheaties. Up oh, there's oh, ne oh, oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Neo Parshath pierces for six thousand nine hundred damage. Oh! Surge of Radiance is bringing it to round three. Round three height. Do you think Pegasus, when he started his path of just being a total asshole, was like, well, I'm already here. Like, I was a good person, mm -hmm. um, and now I have to do shitty things to people, and uh, to justify that to myself, what? Uh, like, this is for the love of my life, of course, but... Um, uh a solemn judgment on Defender. Do you think he was just like, I'm gonna have to do villain shit anyway. I might as well lean into it. <laughs> I might That's as well have fun while doing it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> if I'm to be a villain, I might as well be a James Bond villain. <laughs> Croquet. Get me and the best fruit juice you have. The finest grape juice and gorgonzola <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Spellcasters is in some serious trouble on turn five. Oh, that's a Citadel, probably too late. Unless that's a Royal Magical Library that you drew into. Oh no, that, that'll keep you okay. Didn't want to attack into the old Vindictive. Who's your target? Gelin Duo. That, that makes that, sense. That makes that sense, makes sense that, to me. That makes sense. Dark Red Enchanter. Okay, spellcasters might be able to turn this around. Absorbing kid from the sky, defiantly thrown in attack mode. I guess. <laughs> For some reason. Ooh. What are you doing? Why do you keep doing this? There's no reason for you to do this. I don't get it. I'm just, I'm just toying with him now. I, I, you say that. I don't know if that's true. This, 
Ooh, widespread ruin. Book of Moon, though, is gonna save the Dark Red Enchanter. Widespread ruin no longer has a target, but Dark Red Enchanter is going to be a whole lot weaker. Magical Citadel of Endemion will save itself. They're gonna deal themselves 3,000 damage! I don't know if they were really thinking. Um, I I hope you have a, a plan beyond. No, absolutely not. Oh no! Okay, never mind. Stand okay, wait, corrected. Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> Swords of revealing light. Tower of Babel. No, what he's saying is he could have gotten any girl. He could have. He didn't. He didn't want to, because he was loyal to Cecilia. So you're actually agreeing. Oh, that's gonna be a super enchanter. Five thousand. My God. <laughs> He's gonna use the effect to discard the premature burial to flex, I guess. Spellcaster's <laughs> command takes the round. What a duel, actually. I mean, <laughs> it wasn't show worthy. <laughs> hey, our AI is trying We're doing a speed run. <laughs> doing a speed run for like most mistakes made in a turn. <laughs> Like, how many turns can we do it? <laughs> how quickly can we max it out? Alright, Warrior Strike for a good zombie world now. Oh god. Too funny. I'm pretty sure Warrior Strike takes this, because, like, I, I just feel Zombie World is is so weak with one field spell. It's... it's rough. It's it's operating at, like, 50% power. Spell cool. Shattering Arrow chained into the Mystical Space Typhoon. Bottomless Trap Hole is gonna hit. Well... That's a good start. That's also good for them. But getting rid of the Spirit Reaper that fast might have been a mistake. I, I think there was, it was a bad call, though. Just like... Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Paladin of Cursed Dragon will hit the field. Get in for 1900. I might be about to eat my words on uh, Zombie World. Winning. Um, interesting. Use of double summon. Suppose I can get behind that. Reed's not a bad target, like, if you want control on what you're gonna draw. Yeah. The Featherizer, Marauding Captain. This is a, it's a pretty stacked fi field, actually. It's, it's kind of bad, but it's also kind of good in its own way. I feel like that was... There's another way to go about saving your own life.
Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, well, where's... <laughs> where your strike does it? <laughs> Victory has defeated you. <laughs> Maybe Zombie World will spin it back this round, but I'm I'm not hopeful. The the deck like it has it good building blocks. Yeah. The building blocks are there, but just like out of the box, it's so much weaker. You need to buy three. Like there's really no other option. Because if it doesn't have that Half of its effects are neutered. It's operating at like, at best, 75%. Why? I forgot it had that. That's, uh... It's really quite good for them. No, oh, what, shrink? No, the, the, the thing that makes it so things can't be banished. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like their one counter to the Caius deck. Yeah. Oh, I actually just like immediately thought like, oh wow, DD Warrior Lady didn't banish and then like, oh right, Imperial Iron Wall is there. Yeah, yeah. Can't do it. Yeah. Uh yes, Dragon, I will do an optimized one. Uh I I, I will attempt to optimize them and throw them at each other. God, I, I looked to talk to the chat, and I looked back, and zombies are almost dead already. Y yeah, it really do be like that. <laughs> it really do be like that sometimes. <laughs> zombies still in it, but barely. <laughs> well, Optimized. as you can see, they pulled the winner. Optimized re Machine Revolt, wow, just flexing with Phoenix Gearfried here. Well, Wabaku uh, would have saved We're, we're saving, right? yeah, we're saving a turn, unless there was a burn effect. Optimized Machine Revolt still lost every single duel it was a part of, Jose. Which is very strange, like, on the face of it, because... Well, I, I know from playing with the people in my Discord that, like, Machine Revolt in the hands of a human does actually still win duels. Yeah. But the AI just, like, it, it requires so it much can't. more thought than the AI is capable of. Yeah. Burden of the Mighty is still easily one of my least favorite cards. <laughs>
Ooh, field barrier on top of a zombie world. Yeah. But, uh, Luckily, Future Samurai... Future Samurai can't use its effect because it needs to be able to banish, so... Oh, yeah. So Spirit mm -hmm. Reaper is safe for now. For now. I'm pretty sure there's other removal well, cards if, if they draw, deck, if so. they draw an equip and equip it to Spirit Reaper, Spirit Reaper just self-destructs anyway, so... Yep, but they have to think to do that, and sometimes the AI is not good at that. Yeah, if the AI is smart enough to equip Spirit Reaper, it will destroy it, but yeah. Yes, but that's that's something a human would do, not necessarily the AI. I wouldn't be surprised. Attack Force AI is actually not really that bad. I, I still need to make my video that compares, like... Yeah. The, the, oh, there it is. There's the out. Different dimension trap hole. Yeah, that'll do it. Swing of Memories is an amazing card for Gemini, yeah. Ooh, magical <laughs> arm shield! Zombies really just hanging on by a thread here with whatever they can. That's awesome. Oh, the, yeah, equipping it may not have been the best play, but... It's locked them out of having any traps at all, so... Oh, well, there's Card Trooper. Doing the card thing. Man, talk about a card that was a uh, super meta. And then, yeah, Warriors gonna. Yep. Yep. Warriors gonna take two rounds. Next up, it's gonna be Dark Emperor versus Machina Mayhem. The, the two strongest decks of this this set for sure mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a shame that, like, Warrior Strike has just the worst equips, for whatever reason. Hmm. Standard defensive opener. Standard defensive Green opener. Gadget. The gadgets still have work. There's still one copy of each in the Machina deck, but like, they're at least a sure. little better. Because Solidarity yeah. Gadgets are better than no Solidarity Gadgets. That's so much better, yeah. Gives them respectable attack points. I, I really do like Banish decks quite a bit. Just because of how disruptive they are. Maybe you'd like Cash Tira. <laughs> so there's solidarity. Yep, that's that's good for them. Um, um that's confusing. Why not equip it to what you got down there? Yeah, you you have a thing to equip it to unless the thing you have down there has... What are you doing? I'm... <laughs> doing his best, I guess. Did you trade away a gadget, you buffoon? <laughs> Is that what happened? You should have another oh, gadget in your my... hand. Oh my god. Why is this? Why are they doing heavy mech support beatdown? I, I I don't don't know. What is this strategy? Literally, if it had zero attack, you would have more. 
What? What, what are you doing? Uh, everything about this is confusing. Oh god. Uh, I guess even yeah, equipping that's it why. to- That's why. Yeah, even equipping it to Cybern wouldn't have been great. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bottomless <laughs> trap hole! Goodbye, gadget! Oh no, DD Dynamite for 300 <laughs> damage! What value?! <laughs> DD Dynamite was so easy to kill people with. It was, yeah. In this deck. Oh, there's there's Machina Fortress. Oh, and it's gonna get Karma Cut. Why? Thanks that's for coming. really huge for Dark Emperor. Uh, cause that thing <laughs> can revive itself from the grave like near indefinitely, by the way. Thanks for playing, King Quest. DD Warrior will get. Oh, all right. Goodbye. This is gonna hurt. And by this is gonna hurt, I mean this is lethal. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have been able to do that math, but it is indeed. <laughs> indeed. Dark Emperor is gonna take this round. It's not even really good at comprehending how best to take advantage of it when it does have Macro Cosmos out. Like, it has a... It depends on, on which deck they have built, but mostly, the, yeah. Alright, can uh, Machina Mayhem bring it back? Thoughts on Inferno Tempest? Do you remember Inferno Tempest? Uh, I... No, I don't. When you take uh, was... 3,000 or more battle damage from one attack, you remove all monsters in each player's deck and graveyard from play. Was that in the deck? In Dark Emperor? No. Okay. Um... I kinda hate it, if, if, if we're being real, um, because that that's the type of thing that you use with DD Dynamite, and it's terrifying. <laughs> Summon Grand Maju after you use that card and will be jacked. Oh yeah, it's insane. It's a fiber chart super broken. Fiber jar is just silly. I, I, I don't know why that card was ever invented. It, it was a flip effect monster that each player shuffled all cards from their hand field and graveyard into the deck and then drew five cards. It just reset uh, the game. Except Banish Zone didn't go back. So like, yeah, I had this yeah, one deck so that fiber, I would use. Mm -hmm. I, I had this one deck I would use in Tag Force where it would just be Banish and Fiber Jar, and I'd just be sitting there like constantly resetting the game, but the AI would get less and less every single time it reset. It was a slow and grueling death every time. It was the type of deck you would never play against another human unless you had no soul at all. Inferno Tempest with three Necro face was silly as shit. <laughs> so I just noticed that uh, Machina Mayhem's lone defender was that that heavy mech support platform again, and that yep. while I wasn't looking, Machina Fortress also got removed from the game. Yep. Dark Emperor really out here making Machina Mayhem look a fool. What was the top deck? Will it save them? Uh, 
Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for playing. No, anytime, anytime Necroface is uh, removed from from or banished. Sorry. Uh, it, you don't. It doesn't have to be your own turn. And then, like, they play out their turn. <laughs> and then I guess you just deck out, like, instantly. It's, you, you've killed yourself. It's great. Oh, hey, Marie. <laughs> I, I, took me a second to... Hey, Marie. <laughs> it took me a second. I'm sorry. All right, next up, we got Merrick versus Dragon Lords. Uh, I think Merrick actually like, just completely takes this. I'll honestly be surprised if Dragon Lords win. Like, if he draws Necro Valley, I'm pretty sure, uh, pretty sure dragons die unless they get a a very good. Um, Unless they get a very good mausoleum pull. Yeah. No, you like you would be decked out and when it got to your turn you wouldn't be able to draw anything. Like, they could just pass their turn after Inferno Tempest. Twin-headed behemoth. Comes back. The AI really loves pulling twin-headed behemoth from the de Oh, brain control! Andrelago. <laughs> Throws but Felgren to the grave when you probably <laughs> wanted to sacrifice? Yeah. This is some 2000 IQ playing. Oh, they were actually going to crash Drilago and take them both out. That actually wasn't the worst play. It was still a weird order of doing all this stuff, though. But the, the Mirror Force really screwed them. Oh, hey, it's Legendary Yeah. Game. They're not going to have enough life points to bigger. take advantage of Mausoleum now. Bigger and stronger. Uh, Kaiser Sage will run over legendary feet. Uh, well, Dragon Lords may have salvaged the duel for the meantime. We'll we'll see. They they really did screw themselves out of like summoning Felgrind properly when they easily could have. Yep. I I I truly don't understand what the what the intent behind that was. But AI just thinks on a higher well, level than I do, so... <laughs> well... GG. That's gonna be one win to Merrick. If there are memes about Beast of Tower, I actually don't know. The reason why Beast of Tower appeared in the video today was just to illustrate the top deck challenge was, you know, if you can choose, like, any two cards in the deck, like, if you have one card in your hand and you draw, if you have any card of your choice in your hand and you can draw any card of your choice, how many ways do you have 
to come back and destroy a 2400 monster with an empty field. So like Beast of Talwar just happened to represent that easy enough. So I just used it in the video to, to represent the top deck challenge. Victoria immediately going to get hit and take out Mass Dragon. No search for them. That's gonna be an early Tyrant Dragon. Gonna be a pretty big deal for Dragon Lords. There's Nightmare Steel Cage to buy some time. Tribute Tyrant Dragon for Horus to attack through the Nightmare Steel Cage. Interesting choice, AI. We'll see if it turns out to be for the better. Guilford the Lightning dropped on the field. Uh, acid trap hole on Dark Blaze Dragon. <laughs> I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me, said Horus level 6 in the steel cage. And Dragon Lord brings it back with only 500 life points. Uh, Horse is immune to the Nightmare Steel Cage, not immune to Mausoleum. I'm back. Welcome back. Thanks. Uh, Dragon Lords pulled it back with 500 life points. Dang! Said I missed the hype. But I needed more water. Yeah, they, they summoned uh, they summoned Horus level six when Merrick threw up a nightmare steel cage. Even though they had a tyrant dragon, they tributed it for Horus because Horus was immune to nightmare steel cage, and then they just started beating the shit out of it with nightmare steel cage up. Uh, 
That's smarter than AI usually is. I know. It, it actually That's was just like. Good. It actually was just like a surprise. It paid off. I, uh, I thought that there was a good chance it backfired, but it paid off. Snipe Hunter getting rid of a metal reflect slime, which is going to be pretty big. Uh, Snipe Hunter was one of the more frustrating meta things. Uh, visor Desk being used against Snipe Hunter. Snipe Hunter will probably just blow it up. Never mind, Snipe Hunter doesn't recognize the threat of Visor Desk. Apparently not. Or he's going to wait a turn. Uh, suicide by Gravekeeper's Assailant for some reason? He just, he just wanted that Snipe Hunter gone, and he wanted it gone now. Magic Jammer on Dark Room of Nightmare discarding Dark Blaze. This could combo really well. We'll see. So the reason why I, I bring up the average top deck challenge more is just like, I feel you're more often faced with like, having to deal with monsters of like certain attack values and 2400 was like an average at the time. Like there were just so many monsters in those early structure decks that had 2400 attack. So like, it's not saying that decks are like, I don't write the characters rating them solely around like being able to beat a 2400 monster, but it is something that I have them use as a bar for like, well, okay, how, like, is this one, like, is this deck even able to beat like a lower tier challenge like the top deck challenge? Soul exchange going to be used. Oh, goodness. For Guilford the Lightning, with a triple tribute, that's gonna blow up all monsters, but he can't attack because of Soul Exchange. Wah wah. It was still a good move, I feel. Womp womp. Oh, Greg. Guard, <laughs> guard ruining the fun of the Dragon Lords. Oh, there's Necro Valley. Oh boy. Creator Incarnate's on the field. Any Gravekeeper at all is probably going to punch over him, though, if they show up. Uh, what a foolish burial. Creator Incarnate going in for another hit. Still need at least to draw either another monster or two more hits. Merrick seems to have bricked really hard. Little creator in Carte. Is that a mirror force that just got dropped? Nope. No! Dragonborn wow. is going to beat Merrick! <laughs> Merrick is brick. <laughs> Alright, Curse of Darkness versus Dragoon of the Legion is next. Can, can Curse of Darkness get its first win? Avenged.
Stamping Destruction going to be used. It's going to hit Eradicator Epidemic. Spirit Reaper going to block. Magical Mallet going to replace the entire hand. All two of them. Favorite Gigio OG character and favorite boss monster. Man, I'm gonna sound so basic. <laughs> <laughs> Seto Kaiba, Blue Eyes White Dragon. I mean, there you go. Yeah. What about you? What's with? Jeez. Um. That's really hard for me to answer, to be honest. Uh, my my favorite. My favorite OG character. I, it's it's really hard. <laughs> I the, and it's because I there's so many of them that I love, and it's really hard for me to it's really hard for me to pick because Kaiba Kaiba's on the list, Yugi's on the list, Joey's on the list. Um, it's it's good when like three of your most prominent characters are vying for your position is favorite mark of a, Ooh, an enjoyable show chaining deck dev is actually that's going to be an interesting play because that's going to hit a lot of dragoonities but it's also going to be burying them into the graveyard for dragoonity to use we'll we'll yeah. see how well this works that it that does probably mean they're not going to be able to why why did you do this why did you do this screwed <laughs> you over <laughs> you fool <laughs> Yep, oh, Deck Dev kills Night or uh, Hunter Owl. Goodbye. Red Eyes. Red Eyes is uh, it's my favorite monster, but I I don't know if I would call it my Goodbye. favorite boss monster, because like hits again. Uh, White Knight Dragon. It's it's okay. It's it's technically a better card. Uh, if we're talking about isolated cards, but like I don't like the design as much, and uh, I've never personally run it. Blue Eyes just has more support to play with, and yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, never, never really been my jam. And it's a water monster. It's Ooh, even... they just lost United We Stand. Is Curse of Darkness gonna beat Tragoonity Legion? <laughs> like. I'll be impressed if they take a round off anyone. They've just, like, done nothing but die. Goodbye, Miss Valley Falcon. Dark Magician is cool. I did run a Spellcaster deck that ran Dark Magician, too, so I liked him as well. And I liked Red Eyes. I just, I never played a Red Eyes deck because I always felt it infringed on this guy's territory. But I liked yeah. the Red Eyes deck. Yeah, just like, I liked Blue Eyes. I've only ever played Blue Eyes in video games. I never, never played a Blue Eyes deck against Hyde or our other friends because it was mm. like, yeah. Magic Cylinder. Good, but it's not great. It's actually a bit better this time around because, like, yeah, because of the ectoplasma. The ectoplasma. But... Its stupid nonsense is sort of working, but for how but long? But it's also yeah, it's also not working at the same time because uh, yeah, that slowed to, that slowed down the dragons, but you're gonna have to actually play something back. And oops, they've they've been bricked for three turns straight now, like. Yeah. Four turns. Do I hear five? Trishula Maybe. is a great, great dragon to have as your ace. Trish was no joke. Trishula was insanely good. Oh, they drew the exact- oh. That's hilarious. That's so funny. 
drew the one card that combos with Ectoplasma, and to the grave it goes. Oh! I mean, okay. That didn't do- that didn't help anything! <laughs> if Dragoonity draws even a single playable mo- Oh, they drew a second Malastal of Demise! Curse is cursed. That is- Oh, uh, this is gonna be just shy of lethal. Oh my god, Curse wins. No, no yeah, way. No isn't shot. That, isn't that just beautiful? I have to win no, as much as mind. I- No, never mind! Deck Dev gonna get chained again! Oh, they had an Arm Dragon 5 in their hand. If he had just, like, sat on, on Malice, he would have won. Mm, yep. Oh, missed Archfiend! This better hurt! Otherwise it's gonna blow up and kill Curse! Curse of Darkness takes a round! Off Dragoonity Legion! Incredible. Incredible. You're finished! Oh no! Can Curse of Darkness get themselves off their 100% loss streak? That is what's on the line right now. Mystical Space Typhoon going to hit the final attack order face down. Uh, Mist Archfiend is going to come out and get blown up immediately by its effect and deal 1000 damage to Curse. That, that feels, uh, feels like a bad way to start. I don't think there's anything wrong with having a favorite archetype that is not competitive. Like, you know, personal preference is always going to be, like, a thing. Like, I always really like tunes, and for a while, and, like, even now, they're not very competitive. Like, they're better than they, they've been. They, they have some really good tools at their disposal. Um, there's, there's there's this channel that I watch from time to time that plays uh, tunes exclusively in Master Duel, and they can pull off some really nasty things. But like I I, I liked yeah I, I've I've liked archetypes even if they weren't necessarily competitively viable. You know, it just really yeah. depends on like what your goal is. Like naturally, if you want to win a tournament, then. You probably don't want to enter with them, like, if you're going to go through the trouble of, like, traveling and buying cards and whatnot. And if you're, like, fighting for the soul of your grandpa. Yeah, if you're fighting for the soul of your grandpa, probably not a great idea to, like, rock up with, like, pure Neospatians or something like that. Or at least old school Neospatians. Yeah. Or Morphtronics. What's my win condition? I I don't really have one. I'm just kind of hoping you don't win. Dimension wall. My win condition is that your win condition didn't fire, and that's Morphtronics. Ooh, Ectoplasma is gonna be played. We're 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 back here again. I don't think Ectoplasma is working as intended. <laughs> nope. There it goes. Dragoonity Legion takes the other win. 
Round three hype! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm not so much hating on Morphtronics as much as like there is a meme about Morphtronics, and this was like when they first came out. I'm yeah. not talking about like all time. Yeah, like when, when they were when, first released. When we were playing, at the very least, like where we were, uh, the the consensus about Morphtronics at the time uh, at, at our place was just they they fucked around until you eventually killed them. Yeah, they they did some stuff, but they didn't necessarily win. They just did a lot of stuff. Oh wait, hold on. This this smash is invalid. I did it. I didn't swap. I didn't swap the th the turns. Oh no. I always I always try and make sure they alternate. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean it's fair. And truthfully, like, if I'm gonna hate on a deck, it's usually not for it being bad. Because at least the ones that are bad, like, usually have an interesting idea that they were going for that they didn't maybe succeed at. The ones I hate on are the ones that are too efficient. <laughs> because, to me, a completely efficient ga like deck is a boring one. I, I, I like there to be some level of will it work. Is that a brand of stock Primus Pilus? It is. Dragoonity starting off strong this time. Now Curse of Darkness does have a Spirit Reaper that they can choose to stall with. Instead, they okay. No, they did. They did choose Spirit Reaper, but Spear Dragon is not going to care about Spirit Reaper all that much and pierce in for seventeen hundred. And then Dragon's Gunfire is just going to outright blow it up. So, uh, good job, Spirit Reaper. <laughs> Prometheus banishes Spirit Reaper for some reason. Oof. Even though it was going to attack into a zero. Oh, there's Armed Dragon. Uh, goodbye, Curse. Nice knowing ya. Alright, that is going to be the end of round five. Pajamas are based as fuck. Oh. Right now, there is a three-way tie for first between Spellcasters Command, Dark Emperor, and Dragoonity Legion. Those are those are right now the competitors. Curse of Darkness is still sitting at zero and five. They're gonna bring it back. You just gotta believe. I don't know about that. I don't know <laughs> about that. You just, just you just have to believe. They can I, I reverse the curse. I, Maybe that's the problem. Maybe the problem is that the curse keeps getting reversed. Alright, it's going to be Surge of Radiance versus Warrior Strike to start this off.
curse of darkness is drowning in darkness within darkness right now. <laughs> Enjoy thousands of years of darkness within darkness. Yeah, that sounded like dream dialogue to me. Surge of Radiance is going to wall for a turn, no doubt the AI is going to ram the warrior lady into the two- Oh, never mind. Swords of Revealing Light is going to stop that from happening. Woo! Stalemates are very exciting. Okay. Oh, okay. Didn't go for the swords. Went for mm -hmm. the scary face down. Sure. Gelen Duo going to go attack. Marauding Captain. Marauding Captain gonna get Kunai with Chain. <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Terraforming is gonna pull Sanctuary in the sky. It's gonna mean no battle damage for any battles to fairy type monsters. Gelandu is going to get tributed for Voltanus. Ooh. There goes Gemini Summoner. DD Warrior Lady still doesn't get a choice of ramming, but... <laughs> right now, none of the monsters on... Surge of Radiance's field can kill DD Warrior Lady, except Voltanus, but DD Warrior is going to also kill Voltanus. Laser Wing Butterfly is going to wall. Return to darkness! Shining Angel is going to recruit another Shining Angel. That's the way to do it. Blazing Butterfly uh. is going to summon itself again. Beckoning Light is going to pull Gelen Duo back. Okay, sure. To punch out the Blazing Butterfly. And DD Traffle, <laughs> or not, sorry, Gemini Traffle. Gemini. Yeah, nice. They'll gain a thousand life points out of the exchange, but Surge of Radiance has an empty field right now, whereas Warrior Strike has sitting on two monsters with a third on the way. There's a Clone Wars reference to be made there, but that's for another channel. What was the reference? May as well. Well, uh, like Attack of the Clones, not even Clone Wars. Oh, fair. <laughs> yeah. This is, a, this is a real yikes moment. Surge of Radiance is in trouble. Oh yeah. Lightning Vortex top deck! That's... Wow! Pretty good. And apparently they didn't draw a 900 attack monster to finish the job. Oh, this is, this is game. Yep. They will summon an- oh, no, never nope. mind. The gate attack will stop it. Wow. Before the effect fires off. Oh, now they're dead. Oh, um, well. Um. Silent Doom okay. is going to pull a Blazewing Butterfly. Double uh, tribute for Phoenix Gear Freed for the style we're point just, punch. We're just, yeah, we're just flexing on him.
<clears throat> Some defensive openers from both sides, but one side's missing a monster. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, okay. Well, the gate attack's gonna stop the early hurt from being laid down on Surge of Radiance. Forcing the, the remove from play there. Yep. Good old Spirit of Victory. Another negate attack. Fa favorite tournament in New Gi Oh series? Um, Battle City is really hard to beat, and it's it's one hundred percent a nostalgia thing. I, I won't lie, but yeah, Battle City probably my favorite. It's really hard not to like Battle City for me. Um. Though part of me does like the Kaiba Grand Prix just because of, I got to see Kaiba beat up fucking Siegfried. Yeah, it's a good one. But Battle City has so many iconic moments. It does. Kaiba having My... the most absurd first turn ever in that tag, that first tag duel. Yeah, where, where you're like, just you like, look at, you look are at you hand. even trying? And like, it was just like, bruh, if you didn't draw Pot of Greed, your hand was probably totally screwed. Yeah. The, like, the fact that he runs two flutes of summoning dragons with one Lord of D <laughs> is, is again, just outrageous. Oh my god, and The fact yeah. that he runs Hyozanru is also outrageous. Like, it is. bruh, how many times <laughs> have you bricked and, like, I, now I'm just, like, thinking anytime Kaiba, like, dueled in Battle City and, like, had a hand where he didn't play everything, it was just like, well... He probably has Hyozanru in his hand and doesn't want to bother with the damn thing. Because it seems to be <laughs> just in the deck to be sacrificed for Obelisk. Pretty much. Uh, anyway, Surge of Radiance won while I was busy chatting. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Round three hype. That, that... Big Bang Shot is such, like, I, I almost, part of me does not think that Big Bang Shot is honestly worth running because of its, mm -mm. because of that effect that, like, your monster gets removed from play. Like, yeah. Mystical Space Typhoon is so common. It's, it's good in, like, an already working around banished deck. Yeah, like, if, if Big Bang Shot was in, like, you know, uh, Dark Emperor, it wouldn't be yeah. nearly as silly, but... Yeah. Like, piercing is, is a cool effect to give an all, and, like, 400 attack is cool. Them together is, like, almost worth it, but, like, the, the downside of g getting banished is just so yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. Evocator Chevalier is going to get hit with Solemn Judgment <laughs> on turn two. You better have a killer hand there, Surge. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. Look at that. Wow. wow. That wasn't it. What, wow. Were you, what were you doing? You're out of your mind. That's insane. Why would they do that? Oh, they're gonna get back Solemn Judgment, which they are gonna desperately need at this point. Yikes. Soul of Purity and Light hitting the field. All right. 
We're, we're getting some life points back. Navigator Chevalier is just back. Hello. Which I think, honestly, it would have been better for them had they not... Oh, are they gonna... Oh, ooh. I wonder if they already have Exile Force in their hand. Oops. No, that, that works too, though. Mm-hmm. DD Warrior Lady going to crash and banish. The effect does not fire off due to DD Warrior Lady. Yeah, I, there's a lot of things that I would be really interested in in hearing, like Warrior the discussions strike. that were had in round. in uh, constructing structure decks. Like, what was that meeting like? That's what I wonder too. How, how many people were really involved? That sort of thing. It's going to be Machina Mayhem versus Spellcaster's Command this time. Spellcaster's Command right now is one of the top decks in the running, so they'll have to be careful to not lose here. Hey, West Gunner. Uh, so far, we are on round six. Um, and to catch you up on the score right now, three decks are leading, uh, which is Spellcaster's Command, Dark Emperor, and Dragoon of the Legion. Uh, Warrior's Strike is sort of up there, but not, not like really. Those three are, are the ones that are in the runnings right now. The Curse of Darkness is cursed to lose. Curse of Darkness still has not won a single match yet. It has won... Singular duels, but... Mage Power Defender is going to be pretty hard to deal with. Mm-hmm. That's going to be a Magician's Circle for Disenchanter. Spellcaster's Command looking to go in really strong. Uh, Disenchanter choosing to bounce the Machina Armored Unit for some reason. No real use in that because they don't regain spell counters. Yeah, it, de it depends. I mean, Dragon Master, I think, I think we basically kind of talked about that a little bit. Um, it, it is it is something that kind of depends on if a Pegasus voice works or not. I could have fun with that idea, though. Like, if, if I yeah, like the Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Machina Soldier going to go to the field. His effect will bring out... Machina Sniper. Defender is going to stop Last Magician from getting destroyed. Another Pitch Black Power Stone. <laughs> oh my god. And Spellcaster's Command gonna take round one. Thank you. 
The battery works, Merrick. <laughs> Favorite zombie monster. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go with Red Eyes Zombie Dragon, but only because I'm just heavily biased towards Red Eyes and it's all of its variants. Ooh, that's gonna be a breaker and nuzzler combination. gonna be stronger than Machina Fortress. Machina Fortress is gonna crash to use its effect to destroy Breaker. They're gonna pay 500 life points to get Nuzzler back and Machina Sniper will get in. Um... Yeah, Red Eye Zombie Dragon is hard not to pick. Uh... I do think the art for Red Eye Zombie Necro Dragon looks pretty cool too. Yeah. Skull Servant's a good pick. Like I think Necro Dragon looks cool with the, like the the blue fire in the art. Yeah. Frontline base. Or are they gonna do are they gonna try and do the indefinite Oh they don't have anything to generate spell counters. They can't do an infinite sword. Unless something changes very quickly. Armored cybering gonna get thrown on the field. Cyber Valley <laughs> as well. Um That good old one for one. <laughs> oh no. Prohibition being used on Old Vindictive old magician. magician. I think it only has one in the deck, so that's a bad hit. Alright. Does not seem to be going very well for uh Machina's Machina. having trouble right now. There are. Here comes Kinetic Soldier running right into a magic cylinder. Machina's just having a bad day right now. Magical exem exemplars here to get powered with a pitch black power stone. Oh, this is actually a really good combo. Because one spell card generates two spell counters on Magical Exemplar. So yeah. they're actually going positive by bouncing now. I, I still giggle to myself every time I remember that one time I hit Stobbs. Uh... Lightning, Lightning vortex, vortex with Cursed Seal, Curse the Forbidden seal. Spell, because he ran three of them and had two in his hand when, he, when I did it to him. Yeah. Great stuff. That was so funny. Uh, just set a Cyber Dragon. Uh, this is looking... this is looking like a win for spellcasters. Yep. That's gonna be it. Spellcasters 
continues on their winning streak, and Machina Mayhem continues to fall, not doing as bad as its previous predecessor, but, uh... Still struggling all the same. And now Merrick will go up against Zombie World. Favorite machine monster. Hmm. Mm, there's a lot of good ones. There is a lot of good ones. That's, that's really tough. Like, Ancient Gear Gajiltron Dragon is pretty cool. I like it a lot. It's, it's the first one that comes to mind, but... I don't want to. I don't want to lock that in as my answer. I'm gonna look at machines for a sec. Cyber Dragon's a good pick. Um. Merrick starting off by walking into a bottomless trap hole. Merrick's got the coffin cellar dark room of nightmare combo right now. Dust Tornado is going to choose to hit Dark Room of Nightmare instead of Nightmare Wheel. Here comes Gilgarth. Look, this steel armored machine ruthlessly strikes down enemies with its giant katana. That's its card text! <laughs> uh, zombie World has hit the field. I- I died when I looked at the- when I looked at the text. Yeah. And I- and I, I have Merrick read out that whole thing. Oh in the my video. god. And it, it- the way he reads it out is so excited. That's- that's awesome. So like, yeah. I just, like, I love it. Cyber Dragon, Red Eyes Metal Flare, or Flare Metal Dragon, and uh, Machine King. Yeah, those are, those are all solid picks. I think Flare Metal is still a dragon. Even though its name implies otherwise. Yeah. Um, like, I would still personally count it. It's probably why I didn't think to say it. Because the, the meme will just be that I always pick the, the red eyes version of whatever you're asking. <laughs> uh, of, of course, Metal Dragon uh, still you know, exists. You know who we discounted? Spikebot! I mean, Spikebot and Shape Snatch, those are <laughs> top quality monsters, let me tell you. Spikebot yeah, is so... the king of all machine monsters. Hey, Eldoritos! <laughs> Hold on. Was, was that just our meme, or is that actually said somewhere? I think it's still just our meme. Okay, it's, it's just our meme. Spikebot is the greatest machine monster of all time. Right. Um, <laughs> a mechanical soldier created by a wicked sorcerer. It attacks with two steel balls attached to its arms. So no, Machine King is the king of all machines. <laughs> I would hope. But also, secretly, it's Spikebot. Zombie World takes a round from Merrick. Nice. Barrel Dragon is good. Um, XYZ, or A through Z. Dragon, Catapult, whatever. A 
Those are all honorable mentions too. There you go, Tyrannal Hasselberry. You're you're using Zombie World today. Evil versus evil. Merrick playing most of his hand. We've got a coffin seller. And yeah. he's gonna hey, mirror dude. force a regenerating mummy. I don't I don't know about that man. A to Z Dragon oh, you know, Buster Cannon. You know, actually yeah. I'm gonna change my vote. Uh XYZ Dragon Cannon is my favorite. Okay. I, I like the whole set. It that gets ridiculous when you cool. get to A to Z. That one's cool. It has a good effect, and like I liked, I liked running. I liked running it. X Y Z is very strong. Oh boy. Lore of Darkness going to draw two cards. Yeah, okay. Well... Regenerating rummy, Mummy right now is too much for Merrick's deck to deal with. <laughs> if only he had his Revival Jam and <laughs> Jam Breeding Machine or whatever it was. That exploit that he thought was the best thing in the game. Uh, there's Legendary Fiend, who's not going to be able to do anything. Nope. There's Zombie Dragon. <laughs> if only Zombie World was on the field, this would be quite the steal. It would be, because it would be getting super strong. Oh well. Merrick is bricked. And his Mirror Force already got used against a regenerating mummy. Like, come on, man. What's Merrick's out here? I don't think he has one right mm. now. Not right now. I don't think he does. No, he, 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 no, actually even drawing Lava Golem wouldn't have been an out for him because he doesn't have anything to stop Lava Golem from just kicking his teeth in. Guard is forced to return one of the level 4s to the hand to survive. Zombie Master yep. is going to bring back another regenerating mummy. <laughs> the regenerating mummy never stops. Nightmare Wheel is going to come up, but it's not going to matter. Nope. Oh, and it's going to get blocked wow. anyway. <laughs> wow. Zombie World defeats Merrick. So even Joey Wheeler on Halloween is able to defeat Merrick with his spooky zombie red eyes deck. Part of me, part of me has had an idea that if I ever, like, if I'm still doing the meme videos by Halloween, just, like, having Joey use a Red Eyes zombie dragon deck during that duel and just do the whole bones shtick. Yeah. It'd be really good. Boo! Dragoonity Legion versus Dark Emperor. Uh, these are two decks that are at the top of the ladder, so... Uh, this is going to be an important match. Dinzo is a is a good favorite. I wish his support was like more creative. But
Dragon Ravine going to start off. Dragon Ravine is a really good, really good way to start. DD Warrior Lady is going to get rid of Militum immediately. Bazoo getting in for 1600. Eating some souls. Gonna add Legionnaire. Not sure that's the greatest pull they could have gone for, but. They seem to like Legionnaire quite a bit. Oh no, no, no that was fine. That's right. I forgot he added a destruction effect. I feel oh. Ducks just would have been better though, because he just could have punched over him. Momentator's curse? Question mark. Dark core! Oh, Legionnaire is gone. Time. Here's okay. DD Assailant. Oh, that's rough. That's really rough for Dragoonity. Give me a playable monster, oh my god! Ducks! What? Docs? That doesn't make any sense! Uh, doesn't want to attack into ducks. Or I should say assailant. No, there goes DD Warrior. Why? Uh, Dragoonity just keeps losing their monsters to the vanish zone. It's not looking good for them. Give me a playable monster. Help! Help! Ooh! Oh, no. Dirty! Goodbye! Say goodnight, Floppy. Oh! Oh! Mirror Force Doe! Alright! I stand corrected. Yeah, small dragon beatdown. Oh, it's it's Slightly a, it's a moderately larger. strong dragon now. Moderate dragon beatdown. <laughs> oh, and there's exile force. Uh, goodbye. No fun allowed. Uh! And we've reset to neutral. Hmm. Uh, that was actually, yeah. Uh oh. Smaller dragon beat down! Oh my <laughs> god. You'll be dead eventually! This will... Will kill you, I promise. Oh. Unless you do that. Which, uh... Rude? Eh. Might I say? How dare you play a playable card? No, what are you doing? Your hand! Oh my god, they literally have mm. nothing! <laughs> this is this is just sad. It's <laughs> just sad. Oh my god, they top decked that. Oh no. And now they play Macro Cosmos for the final BM. Yeah. They should have punched with Helios. <laughs> the for the win. <laughs> big big great, shot. It'd be great if Mystical Space Typhoon was their face down. They just. They just lost. That, that they would lost. be that would be pretty funny. All right, Dark Emperor takes round one from Dragoonity Legion. Ravine's good when you're not like an idiot. <laughs> he really didn't have any choice. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. But... Whew. Good stuff. Oh, hey, dude. You get to play Dark Emperor. How fitting. Aren't you? I'm the Supreme oh King once again! Oh no. He became suddenly evil. Hate when that happens. Man, I hate randomly turning evil. My Emperor! I failed you! Is 
says every card in the deck. Uh, Mystical I mean, Space it's... Typhoon being used legit... on the wind art. Pretty big hit. Legi it's, a legitimately, it's legitimately a good deck, though. Like, it really is. As, as far as structure decks are concerned, it's it's got a lot of stuff that subverts a lot of other strats. Monster reincarnation for javelin. Are we are we sure on that one? We pitched Apparently. a trap card for it. Here goes Iron Dragon level three, just chilling in defense. Bazoo. Here's Militum, gonna go punch out Pazoo. No souls were eaten in this duel. Ah, uh, here to do some alchemy, I see. Bonk. What's your favorite trap favorite card? Favorite trap card? Um, My hmm. god, um... I'm gonna have to think about that one for a while, and by think about, I mean search up trap cards and remember. <laughs> um, but honestly, part of me is really tempted to say Macrocosmos. Oh my god. Because it's so disruptive. Oh my god, Jaden! Rude boy, just brain control in their, their monster like that. For that exact zero victory, too. Oh my goodness. Alright, Dark Emperor just easily takes that. I'll tell you what my least favorite trap card is, by a mile. Hey, Griff. Is Solemn Judgment. I... just know. I'm, I'm trying to think about my favorite trap. Like, Mirror Force is obviously, like, cool, but, like... Yeah, it's, it's a little it's, too... It's a little too common. And I'm yeah. trying to think of like unique trap cards that Right. Return Okay, actually Mindful might might have mine. I really liked Return from Return. the Dimension. Yeah. It's busted as all get out, but like Right. There were so many hype plays I did with that back back when we used to play. Yeah. So no, it's, it's, it's it's hard not to like that one. Yeah. And like it was always good. You you could always use right. it. Unless you had like one life point. Which never happened. Yeah. Uh, Backs to the Wall is similarly pretty hype. But, uh, yeah. Call of the Haunted's a good good pick. Birthright's similar, similarly cool to me. Yeah, Call of the um, Haunted is a good one. Yeah. Metal Morph, also great. Like I, there's so many good trap cards that I that I love. Metal Morph is definitely one of them, especially in the zombie deck. So good. Ring of Destruction is also hilarious. Oh boy, Sword of Dark Rites on Giant. What are you doing, Curse? Come uh... on, man. Come on, man. You're already having a tough time. You just threw out those fucking cards for no reason at all. Oh no. Come on, man. <laughs> I think this is part of their problem. Oh, wow. Same. Magic Cylinder is a good one. Magic Cylinder is very good. I like Magical Arm Shield also. Ooh, Crush Card Virus on Dragon That's Lords? Goodbye! That's actually, yeah, that's truly devastating. Oh, this has the eroded version where they can send more to the grave too if they want to. Did you were, were you familiar with that change? No, I was not. Yeah, so Crush Card now has the effect where the the opponent, after getting hit with it, can choose to intentionally destroy three more cards from their deck to send to the grave. That's interesting. And Dragon Lords decided to probably blow up almost all of their bricks and send them to the grave. Yeah. 
<laughs> Gets crush card back. That's <laughs> okay. Okay, it was literally their only option, but yeah. Oh, I wouldn't have said Pot of Greed for a spell. It's... Pot of Greed, it, it, like, <laughs> yeah, it was hyped to draw when you did, but, like... Yeah. It's not... It wouldn't be, like, creative, right? Like, I, I say to me, like... Hold on, first let me mark off Rise of the Dragon Lords getting this easy-ass win over Curse of Darkness. The... Like, limiter removal was always cool. Um, rush recklessly. Limiter removal has to be my favorite. Rush recklessly like, similarly was a cool card to me. Because yeah. you could catch people off guard with it. Red Eyes Fusion also. Pretty, pretty cool card. Ultimate Fusion's pretty cool. I, I like that. Um, super polymerization is cool. Yeah. S system down plus clockwork night. Okay. Yeah, like I, I, I don't really pick cards as my favorite for power reasons. Even if I'm a big like Kaiba fan girl, like I, I like interesting interesting cards more so than yeah. like powerful ones like shining dragon is a cool card to me even though i meme on it in my videos all the time i love shining dragon it's not viable remotely because of how much of a pain it is but i love the card thunder speed summon is pretty cool spirit reaper gonna get why do you do this to yourself why do you you have no reason to play this card? Why do you do this? Uh power bond. Power bond is a very very hype card. It is. Oh look, it got Malice Doll of Demise. The the one nice. card that works with, with Ectoplasma. Yeah. Good stuff. Dark Emperor could use this stupid card better than <laughs> like, Why? It, it, it every every like, every time, oh every time he does this, just mm. curse of darkness might actually take this round, which is pretty funny. Oh. Wow. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna win through bird damage. The bird is gonna flip back up next turn and kiss you. Yeah. Them. Yep. Yep. No draining shield to save you. Bird. Bird lethal. Curse of Tarkus gets another win. Oh my goodness. I think this is like the second time they won. <laughs> Hold on, I'm checking the records. Oh Curse my God. of Darkness, zero, 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 one. Yeah, this is the second time. This is the second time they have gotten a victory. Not not a complete win, but a victory. I wish Dragon Master Knight was, like, worth the summon. It's such a cool card to me. <laughs> yeah. It's it so not worth. It was before we had ridiculous boss monsters that were immune to everything and had 10,000 attack points. I play Power of the Solaristics! <laughs> Why are you waiting?
god, those those custom cards are so fun to design. <laughs> Yeah, like Dragon Master Knight, like the one thing that it existed to do was why do you keep doing this? Stop it. Get some help. Is Snipe Hunter gonna go killing Ectoplasma? No. It, it, um, it's not. It should. It should. It should. Goodbye. <laughs> But it won't. We had to think oh, one step ahead. here's Malice Demise. Hooray! Let him cook. <laughs> now here comes Twin-Headed Behemoth. This is so stupid. Oh, it's... It's hilarious. <laughs> Wow. This fool I, is gonna send Zombie Wolf, right? Or, or is the AI no, gonna be smart no. enough? Do you think the AI will be I, smart I, enough I, to choose Malice? I trust in the, the AI. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very rarely do I trust in the AI, but in this one instance. Wow, Curse wins unless Dragons uh, has yeah. a back row. And uh, they don't have a back row, yep. I don't think. So. Curse of Darkness does not follow the Machine Revolt curse and will secure a victory over Dragon Lords. They are no longer an only defeated deck. I'm I'm so Congratulations, I'm so proud. Curse of Darkness. Hurrah! I'm so proud of my edgy boys. Round six is over. And here are the current standings. We still have Two, two decks competing for the number one slot, Spellcaster's Command and Dark Emperor. Though Dragoonity Legion and Warrior Strike could technically still win if their luck holds out and the others do not. Alright, so Surge of Radiance will go up against Machina Mayhem. Isn't it funny how the AI is just like really bad at using machine decks? Pretty ironic, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm unfamiliar with that archetype, unfortunately. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up, see if I can get a read on it real quick. Ooh, that's gonna be a very early Machina Fortress with a heavy mech support platform. That's gonna be a very strong start, but like Joey said, it does destroy the hand. Dragon's Collide is pretty neat. I think Dragon's Collide is set to be on the next video, too. Yeah, the next five would be Lost Sanctuary, Gates of the Underworld, Dragon's Collide, Samurai Warlords, and Realm of the Sea Emperor. It's when I stop becoming familiar with them. Because, like... Yeah, I think you pieced out after Lost Sanctuary. I don't even think you were playing when Gates of the Underworld came out. Yeah.
Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing the isekai uh, archetype, but I, I I'm not familiar with it. I'd have to it, <laughs> I'd have to do a lot of reading to actually like get it. Guardian Angel Joan trying to bring this back. For right now, the, Machina Fortress is still the strongest thing on the field. The the life point increases are, are gonna play into this to some degree at least. Machina Armored Unit is gonna eat a Magic Jammer. Not sure that that's the greatest hit for the deck, but... No, I, I, I don't think I agree with that one. Um, didn't, didn't manage to draw Mars, so that's unfortunate. It's it's mostly just for combo purposes. It's like it helps other things get stronger. I mean, Joan's still a fairy at the end of the day, so like. Yeah. Joan does actually combo with the rest of the deck pretty decently, I say. Decently, yeah. It's such a it's such a steamroll heavy deck. Like it has to be. Lightning Vortex is only going to get rid of the equip. Machina Fortress is still running strong. <clears throat> Can they draw Mars before the life point gap closes? Nope. Mars goes from being very dangerous to absolutely defenseless before it's even drawn. We're two videos out from Saga of Blue Eyes on the ranking with you. It's gonna be hilarious. Surge of Radiance down to 2,000 life points. The big Saturn has hit the field. Destroying the big Saturn would result in a loss, too. Surge of Radiance is in some big trouble. That's gonna be Machina Mayhem taking round one. That sucks. It's a fine how do you do? Yep, that's a real <laughs> bad start for Machina Mayhem. See how they can recuperate. Air Knight Parshath is gonna Ooh, 
Ooh, what? gonna jump right oh. into Neo Parsha. That's rough. Yeah, favorite archetype is blue eyes for me, and, and I believe red eyes for you. Yeah, but yep. aside from those... Aside oh, from aside, those... Uh, evil heroes. That, that's an easy one for me. Um, Ancient Gears. But that's because they were my first deck after coming back to the game, so... Evil Heroes was what I won a tournament with, uh, and I've also just always loved their art, so... But, uh, I mean, honorable mention goes to the Agents. I really like them a lot. Um... I'll give an honorable mention to Toons. I liked running them. I liked running them. Even if they were yeah. a little wacky. They were infuriating a lot of times. <laughs> Yeah. But, yeah. Wow, Surge of Radiance is cooking this duel. Yeah. That was insane. Wow. Uh, Machina has a chance to potentially- oh. They have a chance to stall for a while. Ah, uh, that was... I should've, should've pulled Machina Fortress to the hand. Yeah. Dead set it. Now oh, there's good old card trader. Negate attack, huh? Ah, shrink into Voltanus. Um. Okay, that'll keep it around a little bit longer. No, Voltanus is back. Widespread ruin will go off. Machina Peacekeeper will keep will keep Machina Gearframe alive. Okay. Machina Mayhem was getting the beating of its life. <laughs> That's uh nice. Not nice how that works. Nice try. Yeah. That card advantage though. Bonk. Bonk. Round three hype. Arm Dragon, uh, Poker Knights, and uh, Lair of Darkness, Ladies of Lament, also tunes. That's a lot. 
but they're all good. <laughs> I like the random characters it chose for this duel. But they put Sartorius on the wrong side, because he's going to be on the Machina Mayhem side instead of the light side. <laughs> See the light! Level decks are like... A really cool concept that was really hard to uh, make viable after the game sped up too much. Arm Dragon Thunder is pretty crazy. I don't know if you looked at it. Yeah. That that I I tried it out pretty recently on Edo Pro. Kinetic Soldier is gonna go beat up a zero zero Mars. It was rare that I saw people at tournaments actually having fun playing the game. Everyone, everyone's so self-serious all the time at tournaments. Not, not all of them. We did have a few where people would actually have fun, but like at the bigger tournaments, no one was having fun. Everyone was just way too serious. Um, as a completely unprompted thing, I think my favorite interaction between two characters was like the first interaction between Bakura and Merrick. Yeah? My name is Merrick! I don't care! <laughs> yeah? It's just like... Uh, I actually did like Horus, and I did run Horus for a while in, in my Blue Eyes attack as like... Before I really optimized it and started going to tournaments, I I got Horus and put it in my Blue Eyes deck. My Blue Eyes deck could be Brick City back then. Like, and eventually yeah. when I started playing in tournaments, I did ditch Horus from my deck. But like, for a while, Horus was in my Blue Eyes deck. Sky Paladin Parshath on the field. Gear frame gonna get summoned. Ooh, no, no. Divine Wrath. That's... And he gets a card back because of Bountiful Artemis. That's game. Yeah. That's Ouch. Lethal. Ouch. That had advantage, though. Surge of Radiance defeats Makita Mayhem. And now Merrick will go up against Warrior Strike. Yeah, Horus level 8 was great. Uh, in my Dragon deck, well, I didn't run, like, um, Royal Decree. I did run with um, Mirage Dragon, so my opponents couldn't activate trap cards during, like, the battle phase and whatnot. Pegasus is, is hard to beat. Sartorius was uh, a ham, but he wasn't. Wasn't as, as charming as Pegasus was with his finest grape juice and gorgonzola cheese. <laughs>
Good old Joey Wheeler. Can Merrick defeat Joey? Let's find out. That's a good opening. Ah, oh, but Merrick is the master of the mystical space typhoon and takes out <laughs> Joey's mystical space typhoon. If only he had chained mystical space typhoon to mystical space typhoon to blow up mystical space typhoon and do absolutely nothing. The, the casting directors must have absolutely knew what they were doing in Japan. They were going for pure memes. Yikes. New Doria. There goes New Doria. Damn. Nightmare Wheel has given Joey some troubles. Oh, here, here comes the steel armored fiend machine. Ruthlessly striking down enemies with its giant katana. Goodbye! You have been ruthlessly... Removed. Yeah, ruthlessly I was gonna banished. say... I was gonna say ruthlessly pulled into the next dimension. Oh no, it's Visor Deaths! Eventually it'll destroy the Evocator Chevalier! Eventually. Maybe. Oh, it's second summoned itself. Oh, okay. Ow. Is Joey and just gonna- timer. No, 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 Joey actually can't die to Nightmare Wheel anymore because of Visor Deaths. Timer ticks down. Oh, okay, here we go. Free the matchless general! Does anyone have any matches for him? Goodbye. He's never gonna Set be able to smoke his pipe to the now. Grave. Okay, well... <laughs> okay. Spear nice. Soldier gets hit by Exile Force. Necro Valley hits all too late for them. Yeah. That's rough. I was gonna say, it'd be really unfortunate if they just drew guard right there, because one <laughs> guard would have not been killed. Yeah. And then two, it just would have bounced Freed's, Freed's ass right back to the hand. Burden of the Mighty is now in play. Still one of my well, least favorite cards is. of all time. There mm, it is. Whoops. There Goodbye. it goes. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, the fool! He stuck his neck out. Those fools don't realize that I'm Merrick. Wait, all those hands, Joseph? Yeah. And nothing? Yeah. Joey, wait, no, what are you doing? <laughs> Joey! That fool doesn't realize that that helped me! Okay. Oh my god, Joey. Way to go, Joey. He's still alive. Check his pulse, Yugi. <laughs> Joey, be very careful! Oh no, it's a Book of Moon on fucking guard! Oh, that's evil. Get equipped! Okay. Is this some doesn't, 5B chess doesn't strategy flip. that I'm not understanding? Doesn't flip for the lethal. I'm... Ooh, Rhoda. You know, this is classic Merrick. He's just misplaying out of his mind to try and lose this duel. 
All right, if he's smart, he has he has unleashed your power face down. He should trigger that. No, instead he's gonna do the dumb move. Okay, well. <laughs> oh no. Boom. It comes back. It comes back. It comes back. Uh, okay. 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 Freeze back. He's gonna get bounced, you fool! What are you doing? No! <laughs> Joey! Alright. Bonk. Okay. <laughs> well. You tried, Joey. I'll be right back. Yeah? Joey this time round got got quite the edge. Oh, we spoke too soon. Card Trooper can still use its effect. Phoenix Blade returns to Joey's hand. Blazling Butterfly will be used to trigger Symbols of Duty. Necro Valley hitting the field a little too late to be useful.
that's going to be Warrior Strike taking round two. Way to go, Joey. He, he was very careful and it paid off. Round three, hype! It, it's... <laughs> it's honestly one of the most BS combos. Gravekeeper, Servant, and D Fissure, or Macrocosmos, yeah. or, you know, Vanisher of Radiance, any of those. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, you, you actually can't attack. So, congrats. Here comes Boganian, actually getting a kill because Joey put Future Samurai in defense mode. But here's Blazewing Butterfly looking to come in. Burden, Burden of, the of the Mighty. Oh, uh, ouch. Goodbye. <laughs> it's back. It's back. <clears throat> Ooh, kunai with chain. How exciting. The butterfly is too strong and he's left in attack mode. <laughs> Why? Oh. oh, never mind. Dark Illusion negates the exiled force. I didn't even know that was in the deck. Yep. Ah, uh, you, you, you could have used Unleash Your Power there. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Right now, Necro Valley is getting in the way really bad. Card Trooper will go punch out the Grave Keeper's assailant. Okay. Joey with an entirely flooded back row. And, uh... Can't he just use Birthright? I'm confused. Oh, wait, no, he can't. Oh, Necro of, Valley. Of, yep. Yeah. My god, okay. Bro got countered. Yeah, pretty hard. We're just doing an overly elaborate plan to do the rest of the damage. He's just I, I... burning him to death. Sure. I mean it's it's, it's the it's safer route. Yeah. Yeah. Thoughts on Red Eyes Fang with Chain. Uh yeah. 
It's neat. You can make a red eyes attack twice. And then you can just take someone's monster. If only Joey had been more careful. It's, yeah. It was his one flaw, really. <laughs> Spellcaster's command is gonna go up against Dragoonity's Legion. The only thing that would have been more on brand is to use the Revival Jam. Which features nowhere in this deck. I know. Lava Golem is in the deck, he just hasn't used it. I, I just, like, the thing that strikes me the most, I, I'm re-watching Duel Monsters with my wife at the, like, at the moment, not we're not marathoning every night, but we're watching quite a bit. And the the thing that gets me is just how bad Merrick's win record is. His first duel that he shows up, he's taking control of Bandit Keep, loses. Second duel that he has against Yugi, he's taking control of, of the uh, Mime dude, loses that too. And it's just like, am I supposed to believe this guy is a threat? He's already lost to Yuki twice! And then he would've then he lost to Mai. And then he would've lost to Joey. And then he would've lost to Joey. And then even after all that, Yuki's still just like, I don't know how I can defeat him! Huh! Bruh. What are you talking about? Kaiba would've beaten him. Kaiba would've beaten Everyone would've beaten him! Everyone would've beaten him. This is not... Yeah, Fate of the World did not really ride on Yugi. But even even with it riding on Yugi, I mean, Merrick's not gonna win. Oh, nice creature swap! I'm just gonna take your Royal Magical Library. You can have my Behemoth that'll revive on my side of the field. So, the, the Ring of Destruction, Ring of Defense combo, like because of how chaining works is just like not a thing it's because of the wording on ring of defense is, is the yeah. problem it's just yeah it says the effect becomes zero so your opponent also takes zero it should have just ring yeah. of defense should have just been you take no effect damage this turn yeah bakora is a better duelist than than Merrick. by a mile Merrick sucks like I, he's uh, actually bad at the game. I don't I don't I don't really like Bakura runs some weird stuff, but like Bakura for as often as like he loses, still seems to get out of the series for the most part looking competent. The the problem is like Merrick just does weird st oh my god. I've never seen that kill someone. <laughs> Dragon gunfire <laughs> lethal. It, it became... Dragoonity's Legion Ol takes Ol round Ol one. Like... I don't know if Darts was really competent so much as his cards were busted beyond Get Out. Like... <laughs> it, it was kind of hard for Darts to not do well with how his deck, like, with what his cards could do. But, like, that's what made Bakura impressive to me, is he didn't run, like, any particularly, like, giga-busted cards. But I would say Darts... Darts was more competent in the fact that he had broken cards. He, to he didn't get go Merrick. out of the way to actually get broken cards. Merrick, on the other hand, like doesn't really have broken cards and isn't particularly good at using the good cards he does have. He's not good at translating anything into a victory. Yeah, Darts is more... The, Darts is more confident than Merrick, but it, it just about... I, I can't think of a single villain that really falls behind Merrick other than, like, Johnny Steps. 
And even Johnny Steps is uh, probably capable of defeating Merrick in a straight-out duel. Pegasus didn't get only one duel. Pegasus got to show us that he was a threat a few times. Yeah. Like, Yugi would have beaten would... him on their first duel if the time limit thing wasn't there, but I guarantee you Pegasus probably just would have dueled differently anyway if there was no time limit. Yeah, he was toying with him. It was it was mind games. Merrick wasn't capable of mind games. Magic Cylinder is going to block Armed Dragon. Summoner Monk tries to switch to defense. Final attack order <laughs> says no. Rest in peace not having a spell card to use Summoner Monk's ability. Bonk. Imagine getting killed by a masked dragon. <laughs> it's pretty rough. Not as rough as uh, Zane getting defeated by magical scientist beatdown. You know, effectless magical scientist beatdown. Hey Rose. Yeah, I I love Merrick, but he <laughs> he makes me laugh. He's funny. But he's not his his he, he's just not a good duelist. Bad. He's just not he's a good duelist. He's just bad. Easily the worst duelist in the finals. Uh, so, as far as what you missed, this is partly a continuation from my stream yesterday. Oh my god, is Hannibal Necromancer going to use his ability to destroy final attack orders? Oh shit! Never mind. Leviton just became a god! Oh, yep, there it is. They can finally switch to defense mode and not take massive damage from God Leviton. What are you what are you doing? I'm, I'm confused. That's gonna go for an old vindictive. Yeah it is. Yep. Why wouldn't it? Spellcaster's not out of this yet. Goodbye. Yeah, Merrick was exactly that. He was all hype and no substance, and he believed his own hype more than anybody. It's, it's either Ishizu or it's Odeon, but I'm convinced it's Odeon. O Odeon was Odeon was capable of, of winning the duel against Joey and Merrick literally stops him from doing it. So that puts him above Merrick definitely. <laughs> and then Ishizu had literal foresight, but uh, her foresight wasn't stronger than protagonist powers, so Leviton may be a god, but does he have a shiny katana? I think not. <laughs> Ooh, spellcasters dying to lethal damage from Hunter Owl. Dragoonity Legion takes the game. And now Spellcaster's Command has potentially fallen out of the runnings unless Rise of the Dragon Lords beats Dark Emperor. I don't see that happening, but. Next is Zombie World versus Curse of Darkness. I 
<laughs> Titan using Curse of Darkness is good. Yeah, no, that was that's a that's a happy coincidence right there. Yeah. Goblin Zombie is going to pull Spirit Reaper, as Curse of Darkness loves to do. And you have to know Ectoplasma is right behind that Spirit Reaper. <laughs> it always is. It always is. Oh, it's Giant Orc. Wow. Oh my god, it got in for damage. It, it sure did. Why are you... Oh! Why are you... Oh, oh, okay. No, that's it actually, good. It was, it was actually a 2000 IQ play. Never mind. That that part, not as much. But, I mean, that's it's still... Mm. If only he had picked spells. That yeah. would have been such a good hit. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Oh, he's going to start wrecking, wrecking the hand. Yep. Good stuff. God damn it! Never mind. <laughs> of course. My God! It's just every like, time. They're glued every, to each other. Every time. Every time. It would have been such a good way to destroy hands. Tisk tisk. Ooh! That, nice! That's actually... Curse might win this one! Who would win, Merrick or Cyrus? I... Cyrus! Yeah, Cyrus. 100%. I, like, I, I have no faith in Merrick to win. He is not even, chosen. Even, even Slifer Cyrus would defeat Merrick if there was no Shadow Nonsense involved. With Shadow Nonsense involved... Hmm... Maybe. Maybe he with, has a chance. No, no, with Shadow Nonsense involved, Merrick still wins. Uh, but if you took away all Shadow Nonsense, then... Yeah, yeah then Cyrus, Cyrus wins. Win. Is this this a win? This is a win. Even Curse with Ra on the... Takes round even round. with Ra on the table, Season 4 Cyrus absolutely slaps Merrick. Like, easy. <laughs> Season 1 Cyrus was horrendous, but Merrick also, like, has not He's had horrendous. a single good showing. No. <laughs> I'm really surprised he didn't ectoplasma. He still might, but... Ooh, that's a good combo. Ribbon of Rebirth on, on the Goku mech. Okay, that's gonna blow up, he'll take... Oh wait, no, I thought he normal summoned without trading. I might have missed. Whoopsie doopsie. Whoopsie doopsie. Oh, uh, okay, Cold Wave. Oh, okay. Alright, goodbye from Ethi. As Joey referred to as villain shit to defeat the Slifer deck.
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what a thrilling duel that was. Uh, zombie World takes round two. Round three, hype! Is it really hype when it happens every time? It doesn't happen every time. Dragon of the Legion 2 0 Yeah, 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 yeah. And Curse of Darkness actually did 2 0 someone too, but you know. Curse of Darkness has not 2 0'd anyone. Did they not? I feel like uh, the one time they won, they 2 0'd. No. Uh, Rise, of, Rise of the Dragon Lords took the first round, and then they. Oh, uh, okay, they came back. It. They yeah. reverse swept it, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Was there ever a better known romance than AI and Ectoplasma? No. Yeah. I love how Curse of Darkness, for no reason, had just one fucking Mystic Tomato. Had to do it to him, I guess. Yep. Oh boy! He can keep bringing them back! Oh, okay, actually that's... That's rough. He does this every time. He's he's tributed Spirit Reaper for that monster while Ectoplasma is on the field <laughs> so many times. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. They're dead to their own goddamn cards. Oh, wow. Look at that. I, I didn't even mean it would be like that, but hey, look at that. <laughs> still still got killed by Ectoplasma in the end. Still got killed by Ectoplasma, just not how I expected. <laughs> oh. Oh, Curse. <laughs> You're so bad. Hey, I'm the greatest structure deck of all time, boy. <laughs> Kills itself. <laughs> All right, rise of the em rise of the dragon lords versus dark emperor. I'll laugh real hard if 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 dragon lords beats dark emperor. After <laughs> deck should beats each other. Curse of darkness or place of destruction. Oh man, clash of the titans. Well, we'll find out in my giant Tournament of Power structure deck battle. <laughs> oh. uh, Marie, Marie once again appears and disappears as swiftly as she arrived. Nah, she just, she just likes the goodbye, Jim. Oh, goodbye! <laughs> I learned a lot today! Bye! Bye. Ooh, Spear Creighton hit with Nobleman of Crossout. Oh, oh, that's a good combo. Yeah. That's smart. Hit Big Bang Shot is great on him. Yep. Okay, yeah, no. My bad. Ooh, Malevolent Catastrophe will remove DD Survivor for now. I I am very sorry, Marie. I I missed the other stuff that you said. 
I remember you initially getting in. So I apologize. Dragon Lord's in some trouble already, go figure. Yeah. Six turns in. I mean, this is this is a tough one for them to face. They need to top deck a mausoleum here. Yeah. It's like their only chance to get out because I guarantee something in their hands is a tribute monster. Oh! That works. Mm. I was right! Something in their hand was a tribute monster. They they really uh 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 oh okay okay or um, oh oh okay. no that's that's actually probably a better play for them yep yeah I don't I don't think I don't think uh unless they draw Caius right now you don't have an out yeah and dragon's gonna start clearing the field really quick and can block a trap card that would send it out so honestly. Right. Good play from the AI here. Yeah. Granted, there are quite a few outs for Yeah, uh, assailant Assailant will get it out of here. Yeah. Um Oh yikes. Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Well, this is just enough to be lethal. Yeah. Dark Emperor takes round one. Horus saved some time, but Horus did not save the day. Good old Alexis Rhodes. Can Alexis they... Rhodes redeem Dragon Lords? Or will Aster Phoenix defeat her with Dark Emperor? This is this is the new power of destiny, you see. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Ro the Horus is great, Rose. Like no one, no one here is gonna tell you otherwise. Check it out, guys. This is my best Supreme King Jaden impression. You're going down, Alexis. Mystic walk, chain to <laughs> brain control. I mean, that's that's honestly fair. But she couldn't escape destiny. You see. Ooh, Snipe Hunter. Uh, um, um, Alexis? I'm sorry? Oh, wow. Goodbye. That was, that was such a good combo. Alexis that was so good. Alexis could have cleared the field. Yeah. Misplay. This is why Alexis isn't a pro. She's just a student. <laughs> alright. <laughs> it seemed a little excessive, but <laughs> alright. <laughs> well, it, uh, Warrior's forced to remove. Yeah, yeah. Exact lethal by Aster. Dark oh Emperor God. is victorious. <laughs> Alright, we have two rounds left in the tournament, guys. That was the end of round seven. So Dark Emperor right now is leading at six wins and one loss. Dragoonity Legion and Spellcaster's Command are still right behind with 5 and 2.
It's really hard to deal with Dark Emperor. It's so disruptive. It is so disruptive. And it can do stuff like it did just now with Defusion or Dimensional Prison, whatever it is. Um, tributing DD Survivor for Caius. That's such. That's so. Like, at this stage of the game, with what was out at this point, especially these other structure decks it's facing, that's tough. That's tough to deal with. It's a lot of value. <clears throat> it's gonna be Surge of Radiance versus Merrick. Dorothy, yeah, at least what she was called in the dub, which is the only thing I watched, so... <laughs> Acid trap hole on Shining Angel, goodbye! Goodbye! God. A solemn judgment, really? <laughs> so rude. Not the best hit for it, really. Would Merrick and Ishizu be a good team? No, because Ishizu would be dragged down <laughs> by Merrick. Well, Aaronite Parshath is here, but has to sit there because of the uh, the field spell. Or sorry, Wait of his level. rage. <laughs> Still just a rat in a cage. <laughs> oh, the heavy storm, though. What value? Womp womp. Womp womp. Oh, Joy, Joy and Mai, easy. They, they're actual duelists versus, you know... Oh, it there's crippled in Shizu. Oh! The creature no. swap! <laughs> the creature swap! <laughs> what an asshole! Classic villain shit. Classic villain shit. Sorry, let me set this first. Merrick would just play over Ishizu. Like, she'd try to set something up and he would just knock it all down. <laughs> he would, she would be facing three people rather than two. Alright, Merrick is gonna take round one. Here we go. Can Surge of Radiance bring it back? That is the question. They can. They absolutely can. Uh, Merrick with uh, <laughs> no monster strat going on here. Oh, Skull Invitation. Oh, oh does he have his super... Coven Cellar. Does he have his super combo? 
Okay, not quite. No. Oh my god! The worst well, card for him to get thrown against him on turn oh, one. Well. Everyone wants to be like Mai when they grow up. Except Mai. Damn, that was a very efficient heavy storm. Yeah, that was that was nearly the best heavy storm that you could possibly have. And yet, right now, Sir of Radiance is still losing. Will it turn around? Ooh, yes. Yes, it will. I love that for them. Yep, here comes Parshap, and now their hand advantage is going to start skyrocketing. Which means that they'll probably get Neo Parshap, like, pretty, well, at least sooner than they originally would have. Surge of Radiance really going for the for the damage here. Yeah, Leaving that 1,000 monster in attack mode. But it might prove to work for them. Here's there Neo Parshath. Neo Parshath so buff right now. Even buffer. But it's undone. <laughs> okay. But it's still I mean... a 5,400 monster and Merrick has nothing to defend himself with. Ow. Bam! <laughs> that hurts. Surge of Radiance still in it. What's this? Heavy Storm? Impossible! Just baby rages for the rest of the episode. Yeah, no one in the show plays back row removal other than Crowler against himself. Also, Jaden against himself. I can't believe that that heavy storm opener. That hurt so bad. It was really funny. Oh yeah, and yeah, my head feather duster, which was like the strongest card in her deck, by far. Mm, the gate attack immediately. Why the hatred for harpies, though? I'm not saying it's not valid, I just want to know, like, what the reason is. This is rough. Yeah, this is looking pretty bad for them. This is looking this is... pretty grim. Oof. There it is. Oh no, it's his ace card! Mystical Space Typhoon just did 3,000 damage! Incredible. Merrick is gonna take that round oh, against Surge okay, of Radiance. Man. Yeah, yeah, clearing out back row on first turn is, it, it, it's, it's rough. Some decks are just tilting to play against because it feels like they just don't let you do anything. Dragoonity Legion versus Machina Mayhem. 
Both decks have the ability to summon their boss monster from the grave and hand on a special summon, so... Who will survive? <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> they, they played their field spell, oh, well, done. You win. Like, one of the most tilting archetypes to play against. And we, we had long discussions about this, Hyde and I, was Noble Knights. Because their turns would last forever and they would just destroy your entire field. And you wouldn't even be able to respond to, to their effects. It was just like, cool. Love it. Mocking a sniper will take out Militum. God, Armored Cybern is so bad for mocking us. It only equips the Cyber Dragon, so like, the one, well, I guess two technically, two Cyber Dragons in the deck. No matter what. Don't want to do my very best friend. <laughs> You don't want to play your favorite game with your I, best I love friend. How all the drama from that duel was just manufactured from the point that Joey thought that Yugi would not give him the money. I know. It's so messed up. <laughs> it's so messed up. Like Yugi just doesn't tell him right before the duel. Hey, Joey, it's okay. I'll just give you the money. And and Joey just didn't go. Hey, you don't worry. I'll just wish your Grandpa back. If I win, they were all just like, man, I hope I win. But yeah. I want my friend to win, too! What, what's funny, too, is I don't even think Serenity Surgery took up all of the money. It just took up a lot of it. Like... Lavis has, has pulled himself from the grave. Look at Armored Cybern serving all that purpose over there. Uh, yeah, it's a it's 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 a lot to expect for sure, but like But you could have even... set the record straight and been like, hey, that money goes to your sister's yeah, surgery one hundred percent. It's not us really bemoaning Joey for not yeah. for not doing that. It's more like Yugi was gonna do it anyway. So and he should have made it, that clear. It's weird that he just didn't decide to do that. And we know Joey would have just wished for Yugi's grandpa to be uncarded also. So, like, the, yeah. the whole thing, as much as I love the duel, it's still a manufactured, like... Yeah. It's still manufactured tension that d didn't need to be there, like, at all. Oh my god, the ability of Armored Cybern was used. Okay. This is the first time in the entire tournament Armored Cybern's effect was used. <laughs> Music to Duel by Dude, Face Up Face Down is the stupidest <laughs> song of all time. And I mean that I mean that in a in a loving way. Um it, it's the the line I'm sure you won't know how is basically saying I designed this game and 
and it is impenetrable to learn. Let's play in the game. I'm sure you won't, sure know, you won't how. know how. Why would you do that? You want a normal summon? Oh my god. Uh, man. I mean, yeah. Like again, like it's it. It doesn't stop the story from being entertaining, but the the problem could have just been solved by about a two minute discussion. Less than that, you, you could have said. Taya was in tears over that duel. They both were in yeah. tears over that duel. Yeah. Yugi was crying when he played Monster Reborn, and like again, I understand because he thinks that for whatever reason it's a problem at the, in that moment. Why? He's in the upset. moment. But the moment the tournament's over, he's just like, "Here, Joey." Yeah. <laughs> you know. Here's the money. Here you go. And like it, if if Yugi had a dream of his own. Like that he needed that money for. Yeah. It all it would have made like perfect sense for you yeah. to be like, ah oh, man, I'm crying because I know I'm gonna give up this money for my dream to help out your sister. And it would have worked yeah. just fine. Like if if Yugi had brought up the whole I want to have my own game shop idea a lo like a lot earlier, it would have just like instantly or, solved that problem in my opinion. Or even like I want to make upgrades to my grandpa's shop. Yeah. And, like, maybe that's what he wanted the money for. Yeah. But, like, it's not implied ever that Yugi's grandpa's shop is having difficulty. Like, not, like, Duke's shop shows up, but that's after Duelist Kingdom, so, like... Yeah. Here we go, round two. No, oh, yeah, you're totally right. It is, I'm sure you all know how. I always misheard it as I'm sure you won't know how, which, like, makes it funnier, but, uh... It's incorrect. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if we ever actually see Machina Force get summoned in this entire do What are you doing? What was the purpose of that? What was- why did you do that? What was the plan? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm so confused. My goals are beyond your understanding. Goddamn computer logic is too strong for me. <laughs> oh shit, Inferno Reckless Summon! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh shit, Big Saturn! The Big Saturn! I've made this duel 1,000 life points faster. Hiya!
If he can just get Sniper and Soldier on the field, he can summon Machina Force. Bruh. You keep activating Dragon Ravine, but you didn't field any monsters! Thanks. Goodbye. Machina Mayhem 2-0's Dragoonity Legion. Sorry, Dragon Master. Sorry, Dragon Master. Curse of Darkness versus Warrior Strike is next. I'm angry. Captain into Oh Crush Card Fire. <laughs> Alright. Wow! And I think that killed did that kill all of his targets? Okay, no. Card Trooper was still there. Interesting. You really right. love this warrior blade, or this like Phoenix blade on Marauding Captain. 1500 is better than 1200, so these are just facts. <laughs> okay. Well, oops. Look out, it's super woof. Bonk. Bonk. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yo, you're pitching it, your gear freed! It comes back! Why are you pitching your gear freed? Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, well... Don't... Don't... Do, what are you doing? I don't remember saying Joey would have lost if I did this. Because I, I would agree with the notion that, like... The luck cards would make it difficult for Pegasus to counter, but I'm sure Pegasus would, Pegasus would also just play some weird stuff. Just be like, well, your luck cards no longer do anything. Yeah. I mean, one of the things you always have to account for is it would just be written differently and you would just have cards that work specifically for that situation. Because that's how they wrote... Being able to predict stuff is that you'd also with have. Heart trooper. Yeah, pretty cool. It's the new and exciting way to lose. I'll tell you that. Wow. He's gone through over double his deck. Yeah, it's pretty. Oh my god, this fucking Phoenix Blade. <laughs> yes! 200 damage! Oh good, it's Spirit Reaper. Where's Ectoplasm? <laughs> it's it's gonna it's be the there. next draw! It's gonna be- it's in his hand. Oh, he didn't play it. Oh, uh, well... Um... Ooh, that- that's a good hit. That is a good hit. Here it comes. Yep. Goodbye! <laughs> this- this Phoenix Blade, man. Do you have anything left to even equip with it? It comes back. That's- that's the thing that's great about it. 
Oh good, it's Blazing Butterfly. <laughs> and Double Summon! Oh. You can't equip your sword! It comes back. But it doesn't matter, it's exactly lethal! Warrior wow. Strike takes round one. Wow. Curse of Narctus just can't help itself. I was literally being served a victory and couldn't do it. Couldn't get the job done. Yeah, dice cards were Battle City. You didn't have those before. I'm pretty sure. Um... A lot of his luck stuff really started to come into play in Battle City. And then they had that weird mishmash of boss monsters that really yeah, don't Yeah, his only luck back. card was, was, um, was Time, time Wizard. wizard. Yeah. yeah. Still, if you hit that at just the right time, like Pegasus yeah. is just sitting there chilling like, I have your tomb, red eyes, black dragon, and I have... 500 life points left. And Joey's just like, time wizard. And then it yeah. blows up the There it is. Oh, good. It's Ectoplasma, am I? <laughs> Name a more iconic duo. Symbols of duty! Oh! Yeah, oh well. How the turns have tabled. That is the way to inflict the most damage in the current situation. It, it, it is. Swing of memories. Swing. For fun. Bye. Oh my god, another giant orc. Hi, orc. Bye, orc. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan Moore actually got one that really got me. Pegasus would do some BS like, Cartoons are timeless! Yeah. <laughs> and they're immune to being just- yeah, All no, they that's, do is that's... become classics, Joey <laughs> Wheeler! <laughs> Which means their attack points go up because they're appreciated even more! Oh my god. So accurate. <laughs> it hurts. What are, you, what are you doing? It's flipping Spirit Reaper up because yeah. naturally they're drawn ties like together. <laughs> We're oh, destined yeah. to do this. Yeah, what Forever, if, what if you Joey die? hit with the logic that they just turn into crappy Netflix adaptations? Pegasus would be like, ah, Netflix doesn't exist in my world. <laughs> Ooh! The dimension wall hit is really strong. Curse might take this. If Goodbye. Curse draws, if Curse draws a monster with 1,200 or more, there it is. Oh my God! Wow. Curse of that's Darkness a, takes round that's, two. That's rough. Curse of Darkness troll strats strike again. Yes, Ecto Ectoplasma has shown up in every every duel. Not, well, not, not, for, not first round, not first turn, uh, but it has shown up every duel, just about. <laughs> Does Pegasus even? He he calls him Joseph at one point. I know that. Okay, because I was gonna say. I don't remember him even 
acknowledging Joey, like, most of the time, anyway. Oh, there's Giant Orc! With the sword! Is it, is it gonna be the combo? Where it's used for one of the viruses? No? Okay. Ooh, Nobleman of Crossout. Ooh, on Card Trooper. Too. That's that's a good hit. Malastall Demise, and ironically, Ectoplasma is nowhere in sight. Not yet. It's coming. It's always just around the corner. Exiled Force. <clears throat> Here we go! Send in the top deck of Warrior Strike to the graveyard, it'll probably be something they want. Playable monster, that's... Wait, wait, hold on, what did I... Oh, right, okay, I was like... I forgot that they had, didn't... They had done, like, major damage already. Yeah. Silent Doom. Oh! Burden of the Mighty! That hurts. That hurts real bad. Ah, uh, Spirit Reaper! That means Ectoplasma is here! This is just a fact of life. It's around oh, Wheeler the corner. Boy. Wheeler Boy is really funny to me. Well, <laughs> hi, it work. Bonk. Bonk. Ooh, freed so good. Warrior. Wouldn't want to be you, though. Oh! There it is! It never fails to show up. But, but, what? <laughs> why though? Why, why go through all that just to tribute it? Ooh! Okay, um, still 100 life points. Yup, <laughs> but if they draw, if they draw a single anything. monster, anything with attack! Anything. Anything, um, well. Oh, if that's another dimension wall, I'm gonna I'm gonna die. <laughs> Let's see. Who wins? Wow. They top decked a mystical space typhoon. They just wow. can't get the job done. Wow. Just, just couldn't do it. So <laughs> close. <laughs> Alright, Dragon Lords versus Spellcasters Command. Uh, early Mausoleum. G G Guilford? Guilford was always a strange thing to be in this deck, but you know. Oof! <laughs> oh, goodbye. That's. That's rough. That's awful for him. Yeah.
All right, Dragon Lord is already down to less than half life points on turn three. That's great. Oh, okay. All right, they discarded a playable monster with 1800. Oh, okay, Morphing Jar. Okay. Morphing Jar, that's smart. Uh, that, that's good. Yeah. This actually could be huge for them. This could get them back in be. the game. Yeah. Ooh, and a Fissure got dropped in the grave, too. Really good hit. What do we got? Summoning. Tyrant Dragon. Ooh. Attacks. Oh, right. Can't attack. It can only attack monsters twice, but it can't attack into the person. Attack mode apprentice magician. Don't don't, don't know that that's the good good play and I intrunade. Okay. That doesn't end up doing anything in this case actually. Other than wasting the book of moon. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> But you could have saved by not using it. Uh, I would have just attacked into the old vindictive room. Now he's got tribute fodder and can blow up through your dragon. Yeah. You fool. You fool. How safe are we being? Extra safe. <laughs> Spellcasters come in. It's gonna take this one. Quite the defensive opener by the spellcasters here. Mausoleum is gonna open up. They're gonna drop Majestic Mech for you. And... Trunade, interesting. Ow. Oh, I didn't know Goryu pierced. That's rough. Oh. Magical Dimension, man. Why? That is. Ooh, it's for Endemion, too. That's. Ooh. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, 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 wow. We're going all or nothing here. That is. That's gonna be really hard to out. Yeah. Sorry, Flame Ruler. And that's gonna be it! <laughs> Flexing for no reason. Check out my yeah. Disenchanter! Oh, wait! Oh, that was silly. Uh, they still win. Yeah, but... They, they, they could have potentially brought out problems. Yeah. Either way, Spellcaster's Command takes it 2-0. And now we have Dark Emperor versus Zombie World. This is, uh... This is a big duel, and for it being a big duel, Dark Emperor has probably one of its best matchups, I think. Zombie World yeah. is absolutely going to get neutered by by that deck. It, it has a chance. It has, it has an ace up its sleeve. But it has to draw that ace at the right time. Which is always...
<clears throat> zombie oh, world zombie opener world with field barrier. That's good for them, of course. Enemy controller on the regenerating mummy. Oh, Imperial Iron Wall right at the start! That's perfect for them. This is the ideal scenario. Waboku's well, going um, to block. Okay. They really want to keep that mummy around, and given that they don't have the biggest hands, that's probably for the better. Well, this is good. Yatsufuma is going to out the DD Survivor. Regenerating Mummy is going to out Samsara Kaiser. Grenmaju out of here. He's useless until that card is removed. Oh, it don't can't, work! Can't do it! It don't work! You can't do it, buddy! Uh, reinforcement. Getting that'll, exiled force. That'll do it, though. Yeah. But there's a lot of. Oh. Mm. Macrocosmos does special summon. Yeah, it does that, but it's just grabbing a zero, so. Vanisher of Radiance. That's well, a playable monster. It, it has value right now. Call of the Ooh, Mummy. Ooh, Call of the Mummy is big. Yep. Here's Patrician. Patrician's a big deal right now, too. Master Kyon Chi, another good pull. Zombie World may take one. Yeah, I mean, they, like I said, it was ideal for them. Absolutely ideal board for them to set up this early. If Zombie World wins here, they they make it, I think, so there can be a different winner. Oh no, actually, yeah. Yeah, the, if, if Dark Emperor loses here, Spellcaster's Command then has a chance of actually winning it all. But it's it's an uphill battle for them. This is the, this was ideal scenario for them. Zombie it's World not going to happen. It's not going to happen more than once, I don't think. But we'll see. We'll see. That Imperial Iron Will was such a good pull. Ooh, an early card destruction. One of them does hit. Wow. That's unfortunate. Dust Tornado not being used on the revived monster. We wanted to use it on that instead, which is a Sakuretsu, which... Not okay, I guess. Hit. Yeah. Cool! Good creature swap. Very good. Um... 
Oh, okay. I actually don't think that was a bad, bad move at all. Yeah. Oh, that's rough. Well, not really. Mm. Why? That's that's a big misplay. Why did you? Tremendous misplay. Why did you do that? You just. What? That's <laughs> such a but steel is heavier than feathers moment. <laughs> Why was that a misplay? I, I, I did I did more damage that way, with no doing no damage. Oh my god! Zombies absolutely that dismantled was... by Dark Emperor. They dismantled themselves. They dismantled themselves too. Yeah. And they honestly didn't need any help dismantling themselves, like, the, the, they... They have a hard time in this matchup anyway. Yeah, the not not taking out Banisher was, was the worst, the worst play ever, and that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's, that's just instantly a bad time. And it doesn't do anything unless you get rid of that Fissure Man. Bye, Kaiku. Did they draw Imperial? Nope. Unfortunate. They draw Imperial this time. Ooh, shrink! Um, I mean, okay, but. Patrician getting in for some good damage. Yikes. Oh, okay. Well, they keep up the maybe. pressure. <laughs> okay. No shrink for you. Uh oh. Oh, if only they had drawn a monster. Yeah, it's unfortunate. This is where they die. That was... Yo! Face. Yo! That was... That was Yo! so good. Zombie World, what? Zombie World with, like, the sickest the, uh, of face. of the century. <laughs> Zombie World defeats Dark Emperor. Not That's... what I would have expected. All right. That's incredible. Okay, well, we are in the final round of the tournament, and you now- You can't help, can't help but be proud of them for that. Yeah, I can't, yeah, that, that's such, that's such a good, good hit for them. All right, now it is, it is a toss up on who wins between Spellcaster's Command and Dark Emperor. It is possible that there is a tie between the two of them if they both win or both lose. 
Uh, but they are the only two that can win right now. It is possible Merrick, Dragoonity, or Warriors could also tie for first if both Spellcasters Command and Dark Emperor lose their duels. So, without further ado... Dragoonity versus Surge of Radiance. I I'll be pretty happy if Spellcasters win it. Like, uh, they are they are one of the two decks I was rooting for. Dragoonity Legionnaire starting off against Gelen Duo. Can't punch over it. He's gonna set two back row. Bountiful Artemis gonna go to hit over. Sets a back card. Foolish Burial is gonna toss Behemoth to the grave. He really Always should does. be tossing Dragoonities and not Behemoth, but you know, whatever. Mm. Nobleman of Crossout is going to strike a Dragoonity. Ooh, it's Brandestock. That's one of the best hits they could get. Sion, the real estate agent. <laughs> Mass Dragon is here. Stamping Destruction follows. It's gonna hit negate attack and deal 500 damage, which also kills Gelen Duo. <laughs> not, not a bad play at all. That's pretty good. Got a lot done with that, actually. It's, it's a lot of value. Oh, here's Parsha. Uh, gonna draw a card. Divine oh. Wrath. Seriously? Damn! That's cold. That's cold as ice. Ooh, Wind Spirit is gonna... gonna save them. Sorta, of, I mean... Heavy Storm. The, the two for one Heavy Storm. No real big hits. Another draw. Another draw. Flying Kamakiri is here. What's... What's the play here? I'm sorry, what? what do, am I missing something? The, the AI might be on some crazy next level shit. It's Hunter oh, Owl. Yeah, yeah. yeah Hunter yep. Owl, yep. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. That makes sense. But did the card afforded... Magical Mallet. We're keeping that one card, it must be important. Yeah, yeah, the Sanctuary in the Sky. Which comes out. That'll knock Hunter L down to weaker yep. levels. But if they draw another wind mo ooh, no, ooh, all the wind rough. monsters in the world. And that's oh, gonna be wow. it. I will be yep. right back, guys. Really strange that we have a Dark Witch who is a light attribute fairy, which in the Japanese version is Angel. So you'd think Witch, Spellcaster, Dark, Dark Attribute, 
and neither of those are true. Sorry, Dragon Master, by the way. Yeah. Uh, you missed Zombie World managing to defeat Dark Emperor, which was really insane and unlikely. I was telling them how I find it funny that Dark Witch is neither a dark attribute or a spellcaster. That is, that is pretty silly. <laughs> They'll never face my mystical space type wound deck and survive. <laughs> Those fools don't know the power of mystical space typhoon. Uh, did you have any thoughts on the ice barrier archetype? I didn't look I too much into the archetype itself. I, I used Trishula, but yeah, Trishula was meta for a bit. So, but I didn't I didn't run or face many ice, ice barriers. Yeah, yeah, I know very little about them myself. I'm sad we didn't get the double recruit ram. That would have been pretty funny. Type. Except it would have it would have ended poorly because Karshath just would have came out of that one. Oh yeah. Ooh shit, gunfire. Goodbye. That's really unfortunate for them. 
negate attack though. Harvest Angel of Wisdom. Monster Reincarnation on Ducks. Ducks is back. Eventually. Eventually. Royal Knight. They're gonna regain some life points. If they draw into Agent, it's gonna get scary. Get scary very fast with Agent. Oh. Missile Tain hits the field, but no Dragoonity to pull from the grave. Another negate attack. Incredible. Oh! Voltanus shows up! Blows up Missile Tain. Wow. On Missile Tain's turn. And there's oh, Mars! Oh no! Oh no! The, the end. Good god! Surge of Radiance. Where was this for the rest of the tournament? <laughs> Damn. Oh. Dragoonity Legion. Unfortunately did not win their final duel of the tournament. Alright, next it's Curse of Darkness versus Merrick. It is darkness within darkness. Okay, well, uh, bear with me a moment. General Raiho of the Ice Barrier. When your opponent monsters monster effect activated on the field resolves, they must discard one card or the effect is negated. Their choice. Yeah. Yeah, it's strong. Very strong. Yugi is going to be piloting Curse of Darkness this time. Will that make them duel any smarter? No. Ooh, Mystic Tomato wow. hit. That's good. Oh, well. Metal Reflect Slime says no. Oh, it's Circuit! Shit, wow. we haven't seen Circuit yet. And it, it makes the appearance in the strong. final round of the tournament. In spite of its rage, it's still just a rat in a cage. Never mind. <laughs> the mystical space typhoon comes in. It's an ace! He wields it so much better than everyone else! Oh, ow. Ow. That hurts a lot. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye. Spirit Reaper. Ow. <laughs> well, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Darkness is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> They're really terrible. Now, Mystical Space Type isn't a bad card. It's, no, just, it's just a funny one to me to see as an ace because, like, you, you generally see it as like a monster. A monster, yeah. It reflects it's... their personality, but then you get Mystical... like weird cases like Bakora. Yeah. It's like I like change of heart. I like stealing other people's monsters, and the Thames just like yes. Nice.
See? See? I'm a good duelist! Got a dark room of nightmare open. Okay, but nothing to go with it, so crispy. From Eric's always in denial. Oh, goodbye. Wow. That's the giant feet <laughs> that ruthlessly strikes down enemies with his giant katana. That's that's its own punchline now every time it's summoned. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's it's some it's looking pretty revengeance in here. <laughs> Oh, oh shit, just, just desserts, 1,000 damage, and you're taking the floor. Yeah. This deck, it doesn't know what it is. <laughs> He's gonna live for one more turn, but I don't see him getting out of this. <laughs> It's almost like Curse of Darkness sucks. It's almost like it's really bad. Oh. Oh shit, King Prometheus! Here he goes! He's so strong there right now! Here yeah, goes his 200 move. damage! If only that stuck around for more than not at all. Yeah. His final act of defiance, dealing 200 damage and then getting creature swap. Merrick just BMing because I guess. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Merrick easily takes Curse of Darkness, giving it its eighth loss. Yeah, it's a terror machine, you're correct. With its giant katana. Giant katana. It's like what, I know. what I really know. pushes it over the edge for me. <laughs> it's that's that's really the part that makes it funny. Mm. <laughs> You're not wrong. Like. <laughs> Yes, Finton, that's its 8th loss of 9 duels in this round robin tournament. This is the final one, so its final score is 1 win with 8 losses, which is still better than Machine Revolt, which was just 9 losses and 0 wins. Blaze of Destruction actually looks like a competently put together deck next to Curse of Darkness. Like, Curse, yeah, Curse beat D Dark Emperor, but it was like... It was pure luck. It got lucky twice. It can happen, unfortunately. Curse of Darkness got 2 owed by Dark Emperor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Still, though. My point stands and is, in fact... Oh, okay, here we go. Oh! Here we go! Machine Look at that machine dupe! That machine dupe. <laughs> Click. Wow. Nothing. Yay! Oh, well. Cool. Well, Good isn't combo. it isn't it so messed up that the angel deck has Call of the Haunted and the, the zombie deck? 
Like, oh, yeah, didn't... no, that was absurd. Yeah. Like, all the haunted wasn't in zombie madness. That's just... What are, you... what are we doing here, man? Well, there's the big boy. Ooh, with Metal Morph, too. That's... Yikes! That's strong. Uh, Surge of Radiance and Curse of Darkness did face off already. That was the very first duel of this tournament in Surge of Radiance 2-0. Yeah, which... Big shock, right? But, okay. The, the, the level 6 without the 8 is just so strange. Haunted was not in either zombie structure deck for some reason. Yeah. Isn't that hilarious? It is like I, an intentional I, joke. It's gotta be. <laughs> Who'd have thought the dead weight? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Johnny Katana. This is all this holding back a solid archetype. He called me dead weight. Maki to Mayhem takes round one. Will dragons spin it back? Locking a fortress open with a yellow gadget, not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Foolish Burial. Of course it's Twin-Headed Behemoth. What else every, would it be? Every time. <laughs> Why, though? <laughs> <laughs> Why though? <laughs> you didn't need any help. I just, I just want to understand. <laughs> Dude, AI, <laughs> AI play beyond our understanding. You're just gonna. I yeah. You're just gonna have to accept that. I know, but I just can't. Man, that's sad. I always want Dark Blaze Dragon to do something, and it never does. It still has a chance, obviously. Dragon to, Lord's uh, in way the fuck at the at the prime center of Brick City right now. Yeah, well they're they're dead right now. Yeah, so. they are very dead. <laughs> Scratch anything I said about Dark Blaze having a chance to do anything. We did not see a single Felgrin Dragon. No. The entire and, tournament. Uh, 
And that that just tends to be the case. Felgrind Felgrind's just I impractical like given card form. Alright, so these next two matches are the most important ones of the tournament, because they will determine who wins. Seal of Orichalcos, like, isn't a card. It, it exists, but it's well, illegal. No, nah, there's a legal Wait. variant. Is there? Because yeah. I, 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 I could have sworn it was only used, like, in tournaments by tournament staff. Well, not in the tournament, obviously, but, like, at yeah, they event, were, they were events. Konami events. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm behind on stuff. Very behind on stuff. For a while, that's all it existed as was as an event card yeah, that was not know, it's, used. It's unlimited because it wasn't really that powerful a card. All monsters you control gain 500 attack once per turn. This card can't be destroyed by card effects. While you control two or more face-up attack position monsters, your opponent cannot target your monsters with the lowest attack for an attack. If this card is activated, destroy all special summon monsters you control. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck. You can only activate the Seal of Calcos once per duel. That's not particularly. S why? Why? Hmm. There's a lot I don't like about that. Burden of the Mighty's on the field. Freed's gonna it, go punch in. They kind of neutered what the point of it was by adding all those effects. Well, I don't think they wanted to add the ability to jump your monsters into the back row. Uh, yeah, but that's that's what I mean, though. Like, its its entire purpose was to be overpowered. Gonna take a hefty one thousand life point loss to get rid of uh, Freed. Here's Blazewing Butterfly. Gonna get Bottomless Goodbye. Trap Hold. No Dark Bribe. Oh, okay, okay. So, draw a card instead. I keep my monster. Ooh, and Swing of Memories for the W? Is that what we're seeing? Wow. Ooh! Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. But warriors take the first round. Nice. Is is Dark Emperor going to stumble at the finish line? Very possible. You know, before I said that uh, Psalm Judgment was my least favorite trap card, mm -hmm. uh, Light and Darkness Dragon is probably my least favorite monster, <laughs> for very similar reasons. And the reason I bring that up is because Dragon Master brought up uh, Manga Chaz. Inferno Tempest in a 4,000 life point format is the ballsiest shit. It really is. Could you imagine, like, you like it's equivalent to running a card these days that deals yourself 6,000 damage, like... Yeah.
Um. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that was the play. Definitely not the play. Oh. Okay. <laughs> bye. -bye. Uh -huh. Dark Emperor is going to take this one. Round three. Hi. I it's like 9 p.m. for me right now. It's midnight for me. Ryan, you're you're absolutely correct. That that's that is the the vent version of the card. Well, it was insanely broken. Don't worry, Tyson. The uh, the full stream will still be up on YouTube to watch. Yeah, and the uh, stream on YouTube does replay the chat, so yep. even funny chat stuff will be. Experienceable. Kunai with chain coming in clutch to save Marauding Captain. Ooh, Karma <laughs> Cut. Discarding Bye. Exiled Force for Karma Cut, only for Exiled Force to also get drawn. Wow. Pretty funny. That's, uh... Um... Yeah, no, no. That ain't it, buddy. That wasn't even Ukazi levels, my guy! No, yeah, that's... Pretty lame. Bonk. That's that's gonna make things a little bit more difficult. Aw, oh, the cage. In spite of our rage. Oh, Freed's back. Welcome back, Freed. Oh no! The invincible DD survivor! He's immortal! No! You fool! He's just gonna come back! He comes back. That's the best part. Are we bringing back another one too? Okay, no. Alright. <laughs> it's been funny. Waha! Emperor takes this unless uh, Warrior Strike draws some really really sick shit well thankfully for warrior strike it isn't completely top decking so it might have Ooh, that's, that's gonna help. oh nope nope goodbye baby Bonk. rage cage dark yeah. emperor takes it we might have a tie if we do have a tie i think i'll just have them face off yeah one more time. We, we must have a champion. That or I look at the time they dueled and declare. Eh. I guess.
It's this one. The final zombie world versus spellcasters. Yep. If Zombie World wins, it means Dark Emperor is the undisputed victor of this round robin. Which which means uh, Zombie World is is doing a lot of deciding here. Good old Gores. <laughs> Ooh. Ouch. That is one strong necromancer. <laughs> that that mage power is uh putting in work. I've become stronger. Oh, that's um. gonna hurt. <laughs> Alright. Um uh, what? Uh, uh Oh yeah, okay, he doesn't want his monster to blow up. Yeah. Ah, oh, the tower is back. All right. Okay. Sweet. Oh. That does nothing for this deck. Yeah. But, um... Huh? You really gonna drop Crystal Seer in attack mode like that? Yes. Okay. Ab absolutely. Just BMing at this point, I guess. Yeah. I don't need my flip summon. It disappoints me. <laughs> it's a little... <laughs> Too late for that, I think. I learned a lot today! <laughs> Spellcaster's Command takes round one. Yikes. That was hard to watch. Fossils are kinda like zombies. They're just bones with flesh still on them. Crystal Seer beat down, the biggest beat down. Air forming to start things off. We are going straight to the Citadel field with barriers. Field Barrier. no zombie world for zombie world. I think that that seals the... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apprentice, Apprentice Magician, Magician, beat Magician beat down! Incredible. Well, they didn't play Crystal Seer in attack mode this time. No. Gotta go hit that thing. Yeah, taking Sealed Dark's the right call. Yeah. No, your your apprentice beatdown is gonna get weaker. Okay. Should have attacked with apprentice first. <laughs> Bonk.
the strongest apprentice magician that has ever been. Well, is getting a little bit weaker. Wah wah. Indeed. Oh. And now it's too strong! I mean, yeah, but the old Vindictive is here now. Big deal. And Breaker can destroy whatever that face down is, so... I'm gonna laugh, it's just the mask that says no. Oh, nope. No face down for you! Oh, it's Swapaku. Oh, uh, well. Still got to use that without losing the attack, so... That's yep. pretty clutch. Regenerating mummy. Okay. I, I guess. Yeah, Zombie World is gonna have a really hard time dealing with this board. Pot of Avarice. Yep. That's, that's, okay. There's nothing for us, really. And... <clears throat> Bonk. Breaker can get rid of something if it wants to. Can get wow, rid of the, that face the, down. Look at look at look at look at the confidence at play here. Yeah. Come at me. Oh. Well, so much for that. Oh. Okay. That's uh, a disenchanter. Yep. Goodbye. All right, that's gonna be Spellcaster's command. Um, all right, well, we're gonna have a tiebreaker. Yeah. Gotta decide the real champion. Gotta decide the real champion. It's either Spellcaster's command or Dark Emperor. Spellcaster's Command beat Dark Emperor. So, like... You it, could just declare it the I champion now. I could declare it the champion now, but... That's just not as satisfying. Oh, so Burning Dragon is like a walking heavy storm. Spellcaster's Judgment was was a partial burn deck. Yes. Spellcaster's Command is just like pure beatdown. with some destruction effects thrown in.
That nuzzler is so malevolent. The order of the Emperor. Okay. Nope. Yep. This nuzzler is just <laughs> not going away. This isn't smart. Like. Ah, oh, yeah, 400 oh, Madu! It's about to get stronger. Twice oh, as it strong. It doubled in strength! <laughs> Yikes. Where's the soul release when you really need it? Slowly dismantled by this weak grandma too. <laughs> he can only survive two more hits from this weak ass grandma too. <laughs> Hopefully Yugi can top deck something to defeat this 800 menace. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, that wasn't even lethal. What the fuck? It wasn't. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> he couldn't do it! He couldn't <laughs> topple the mountain that was Grand Machu at 800 attack points! <laughs> Alright! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Too funny. That is too funny. Instead of get your game on. Your catchphrase should be, get your lame on. Get it? No, no, Alexis, I don't get it. Please walk me through your process. <laughs> it ain't such a sideways as infinite power. Oh my god, he's right. <laughs> oh, starting with Endemion. Got an early Citadel, and is that a Crystal Seer? Yup. Not the hypest of openings, but who knows. It's, it could lead to something. Oh boy, Mist body. body and Twister. Getting Mist Body. Okay. 
Alright, see ya later, Rose. Later, Rose. Oh, wow. Oh, it's the strongest the Mako! The strongest master of barriers that has ever been. Oof. Oh, ah, oof. That hurts. But not nearly as much as this is going to hurt. Okay. <laughs> oh no, it's Nuzzling! <laughs> it's back! <laughs> With a vengeance! You just got lucky last time, Jaden. Try to defeat my my malevolent turbo. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's been defeated. <laughs> My but god, has man. it? My god, man. You're gonna just eat shit! There's no way! That's a monster in your hand! Okay. That helps. It was actually the Never smartest mind. I move. forgot who I was talking to. Yeah. Uh, okay. Different Dimension Master hasn't mastered anything. Oh, here we go. He's back. Wow. I wonder if Yugi drew a playable monster. The answer's no. What? What are you doing? Uh, but he's he's resetting swords, but like. Oh yeah, no, actually, if his hand yeah. is that bad, that's that's not. It's not the worst idea. He also reset the power stone. Which yeah, it's it's actually you know kind of smart. I what still next? don't have an out for this 1700 and 1800 monster. <laughs> to be fair, they're really scary. Um, uh, oh my god. Alright. Swords is that, up at least, so, you know. That, that actually, that actually might have helped Yugi more than it helped Jaden. Because the negate, like, lets him draw another card, which in this case is more valuable than putting a spell counter on the power stone. Did you just set Nuzzler? Oh no, okay, he's got magic cylinder up his sleeve. Really? Yep. That's the direction we're going with. Did you draw an out on your last turn, Yugi? Or did you just brick for five turns in a row? Mm. When called in and out. Oh, he's gonna get motorcycled. Fern rubber! From! 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 Props to anyone who um, understands that reference. Not, not the best target there, you. Yeah, if you really wanted to, like, survive as long as possible... Oh my god, he bricked that hard. He's fucking yes. dead. Great. Great. <laughs> oh! Why did you... Never mind, he's a genius. He can't be stopped. <laughs> he's unstoppable. Never mind, he's gone. He's been stopped immediately. Well, wait, 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 why do you do this? Why why do you do this? <laughs> why do you do this? Uh, but, you, but you see, I actually wanted you to negate my effect. Good, you killed DD Scout Plane. I hope you're fucking happy. You buffoon! Oh, yeah. oh no! <laughs> no, what are you doing? 
You don't need to draw another Nuzzler! You I'm burning myself! Oh, no. <laughs> I'm the greatest duelist of all time, boy! Alright, well... Well, I guess, I guess the Dark Emperor wins. Guess the Dark Emperor wins. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, there, there we have it, everyone. That was the round robin tournament. Uh, though for for one final game, I I offer you the champion of the last tournament versus the champion of this tournament. How does Zombie Madness stack up? Mako Tsunami versus my Valentine. That's good. Yep. Interesting. Uh huh. Wow, really early torrential tribute. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, I don't completely agree with that. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. They're evenly matched! They're evenly stupid. Oh, Zombie Madness Brick. That's actually so rare for that deck. That's very rare, yes. Oh, look at this chaos riding. Compulsive. <laughs> Really? No! Draw phase skipped. So we already drew the cards we would have drawn. <clears throat> Another compulsory. Seriously? Well, Come I on. guess they were covered. Yep. Look who's back! The third compulsory. <laughs> Do they have three? No, I don't think so. Okay, and that would be absolutely absurd. It would be pretty funny. I can't wait for next week to try the optimized. I'm, I'm curious to see if Zombie World is actually competitive, because I already know a few things I'm going to do to that deck. Yeah, I mean, having three Zombie Worlds for one is huge. Well, so much for that plan. Oh. Oh. There it is. Here we go. Just gonna ride right into him. Blammo. There it is. Ryukoki. Ah, there we go. Yep. That was a good timing for that. Whoa! Reload into Heavy Storm! High level! That's... Pretty good. That pot of greed. Yeah, that was the best reload of all time. That's, that was insane. That was so good. Except that he got soul-absorbing bone power. Probably the lamest card could have pulled in that scenario. Well... <laughs> really? Well... You had Exiled Force? Are you insane? Yes. Misplay Emperor. Yep. Another fucking reload. <laughs> Another you... reload! Oh my god.
It is regenerating mummy, and that card's bad, so it's not as good as we think it is. Um, okay. That's... Get this man it's... some cheese waffies. Haha! <laughs> uh, Blaze of Destruction having, uh, a set of three? Like, Blaze of Destruction... It's not as bad as, like, I memed on it to be. It... It definitely struggles with, with some decks, but... That was really unfortunate that, uh... Helios was not summonable. Well, Zombie Madness... <laughs> takes round one. Zombie Madness is just too idiot proof to lose. Wow. This is, this is a bad way for, uh, um, well, they got the Macrocosmos, that's good. There it is, the real boss monster of the deck. And it's gone. Forever. Reinforcements? No. We're jamming that. That's... We lost the creature swap for it, though. Oh no. We are super bricked. Little zombies drawn out. Why didn't you... Hmm. Okay. So much for that. Yep. That was another misplay. Oh, oh wow. that's also a misplay. Yes, it is. What are you doing, man? Whatever. It's fine. Still a win, I think. Yeah. Yep. What was that face now? Reckless Creed. Reckless Creed, so... Mm. Alright, that's gonna be one and one. Who will be victorious? Round three, hype! Final duel. We've got the uh, immortal DD survivor. Vampire Lady. Vampire Lady. Oh, we got the immortal DD Scout plane also. Um, okay. We're jamming that. It's ultimately not going to matter. 
Yeah, Survivor's gonna come run it over. <laughs> it's it's going to be very difficult to get rid of these two. That, really however, is going them. to slow them down, yeah. That's... That's not the wrong move, but... Feels like I could, could have waited for it. Goodbye. Wouldn't have discarded the survivor for that, yeah. but... No, Whatever the other sure card is, is not as important, I don't think. They never use Soul Release to its full potential, and that really annoys me. <laughs> They're always so random with the kick out. Yeah. Uh, DDR. We're bringing back. Bring that DD Survivor, here he goes. Nice. Air Eater, I'm, I'll, I'll look it up right now, Carolyn. A monster that feeds on oxygen, suffocating any who stand near. And Dark Emperor is going to take it. And that's gonna be that, everybody. Thank you guys for joining me. This will this will be made into a video at some point. So thank you for being here on this on this occasion. Thank you to Woof Woof, my co-commentator. That's me. Chill wind down for a couple minutes. Yeah. Debrief. Debrief. What did what did we learn? Let's let's look at the final tally here. All right, so in last place, we have Curse of Darkness. One win, eight losses, and it's one victory was against Rise of the Dragon Lords. Uh, coincidentally, Rise of the Dragon Lords is ninth with two wins and seven losses. Uh, coming up in a, a three-way tie for sixth is Surge of Radiance, Machina Mayhem, and Zombie World. All of them had four wins and five losses. Uh, right above them, tied for fourth, is Dragoonity Legion and Warrior Strike at five wins and four losses. Uh, Merrick came in third with six wins and three losses. And then... Spellcaster's Command had seven wins and two losses, as did Dark Emperor. Uh, if you want to count the last one, Dark Emperor was victorious, though if you count the actual performance in the tournament, Spellcaster's Command did beat Dark Emperor. So, I mean, really, both decks are good. Uh, Spellcaster's Command actually did far better than I expected it to. Uh, I, we had a lot more even wins in this tournament, I think, looking at, looking at the results. Where we only had, we only had two decks that were really hard into the negatives, where all the others were, like, a, a, like, 45% win ratio. There was no undefeated. Where like zombie madness was near a tier z like near a tier zero deck according to the first like one I ran. Yeah. But like, the, like dinosaurs like, rage like said, would was... have beaten it originally, but it threw. Yeah, yeah. It was it was it's really the idiot proof strategy. 
Yeah. Because it just it it's so straightforward. And I, I feel the, the, the duel we just saw too of Curse of Dark or of, uh, Zombie Madness versus Dark Emperor. I feel if we had done a few more duels, like Zombie Madness would have would have won probably just about as much as Yeah. As Dark Emperor really. Just again due to that idiot proof strat. And the fact that it doesn't really need the graveyard too much, like it no. does hurt a decent amount, but it's not completely shut off. Because just like Call of the Mummy, there's a lot of copies of it in that structure deck. And Call of the Mummy is a free like 2800 attacker in the right circumstance, regardless of what the graveyard looks like. It's definitely better when the graveyard is not switched off, but like... Yeah, yeah because uh, Despair from the Dark, doesn't it like get recycled if it's destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard if it's discarded it oh, its effect okay. goes off by gotcha. a card effect an enemy card effect i believe right yeah when this card is sent from your hand or deck by your uh to your graveyard by your opponent's card effect special summon this card gotcha yeah so that's one effect that really wouldn't come into play very often anyway with a lot of these decks. Uh, Merrick's deck did, them. for as weird and split as it is, it did about as well as I expected. Uh, his spell and trap cards are actually just like really good. And I think they make up for the fact that the, the deck is kind of like monster-wise split in two halves. Yeah. Machina Mayhem surprised me with how awful it did, but, uh... Yeah, no, not not too many decks did awful. And I'm curious to see how things change when I optimize all ten of them. Like, Dark Emperor, I feel, is going to become a nightmare. Um, and I think Zombie World's just gonna get so, so much better. Merrick's deck can easily just be fixed to, like, be a complete, like, Gravekeeper's deck. Spellcaster's Command is gonna have a lot more, like, a lot more spell casters. Like, uh, uh, sorry, a lot more spell counters because, like, spell power grasp won't be at, like, limited. Um. Dragoonity Legion definitely gonna have more Branda stocks around. And, and the other good tuner. Um, more ducks, because ducks is really good. Surge of Radiance. I'd have to take a closer look at to really figure out what I, what I do to optimize it, because, like, that deck's so weird. But it has some really good strats in it. Machina Mayhem, I feel, will actually just kind of become a nightmare. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure if you just replace, like, all the high-level monsters with, uh... If you replace all the high-level monsters with, like, Machina Fortress instead, you just, like... You'll just have so many of them. Yep.
I don't I don't know what I do to curse of darkness. I'd have to I'd have to really look at that one too. Couldn't tell you. Alright, well, either way, wrapping up. Yep. Uh, thank you guys all for joining. Uh, sorry, I may have missed your messages, Jack. I, I was looking at uh, I was looking at kind of the deck lists and whatnot. Uh, thank you, Ryan. Anyone else who's here who may have been quiet, uh, I will catch you guys around and see you next time. <laughs>